Hey, good morning. Uh, I had to make coffee, so I'll give you your six minutes back. Uh, but hey, good morning, everyone. We're here in day number two. How are we doing? Um, the, the Jags played really well, uh, despite the loss. Um, you got to give it to the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, Mahomes is a, a stellar quarterback, but I'm not ashamed. We did, I mean, we started three and seven and we turned around, we won our division. It's only up and up from the Jaguars. They're gonna learn from their mistakes. Uh, Trevor's only can become that much uh, more skilled and more experienced as a starting a quarterback and uh, the future looks bright. Uh, in the city of St. John's River, so uh yeah we're we're uh, uh I'm I'm excited. Giants on the man they got shellacked, but Philly's I don't know man, I think I think Philly could go the whole way. That's just me. Um hey Bryson, so good morning everyone. We are going to start day number 2 and uh because I'll be going back to Florida in a few weeks for the 500, I've switched from NFL to uh to NASCAR today. Um it also helps you uh to locate your video. Day one is Jaguar, day two is NASCAR. Um, and I kind of match slightly, not the blue, but the red uh, and black uh, helps. Um, but uh, I, I uh, people like, you know, this, the decor in the back and the other questions for the, the shirts. Uh, not this one, this, is, this was made for the cast at SAC Anime in 2019. So you can't get that unless you were there. This one you can get at the Rockstar Warehouse. If you just go to rockstargames.com, go to their warehouse, and then scroll down to the bottom where it says the Red Dead Collection. Um, and you can purchase all kinds of cool stuff like this giant blanket um, and uh, 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 everything from candles to uh, a, a set of dominoes, which I have, uh, and a bunch of uh, a, a bunch of cool stuff. They've been out of the playing cards forever, but they got other uh, cool stuff like a bottle opener. Uh, every every male in my family, I I got them. Um, was it the the lighter, the Red Dead Redemption lighter um, that they that they use? So it's it's really cool. My dad doesn't smoke anymore, but he he uh, he uses it for for other things. You know, like if you're end of your shoelaces become frayed and you know you gotta do that so uh, it's always good to have a lighter handle you know uh handy so anyway what's the plan for today um we're gonna talk we're gonna sign some stuff we've got uh we got some new orders we've got some new vips uh so we're gonna do uh we're gonna do the vips first and there's just a few uh, and then I've got to do, uh, for Kay Simpson, Kay, if you're with it, I've got your hair. I'm going to do a little doodle on the back because Kay's been, uh, 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 she's interviewed the cast on her YouTube channel. She has been a, a supporter of us for a while. And uh, I, I'm not going to say she's going to get a little extra love today. Um, she wasn't able to see the signing. We recorded it. Um, by the way, regarding um, the mysterious appearance and disappearance of yesterday's three videos, um, the middle one I did with Ben, um, I was doing some work. There's some Bane, uh, out the neighbors are doing some work. So excuse that. Um, the, the something happened with the video, the video I did with Ben, where they were saying that something was copyrighted. I don't know. Uh, there were some tags in the comment section that I deleted. Um, as you know, it's, it's, it's quiet. I'm not playing music. Um, to avoid something, and and I didn't know if it was was it my was it my Jaguars gear? That's because that never happened. I don't know. It's like a copy. So uh, it says if you disagree, send a complaint. So I had to type out a complaint, and I sent it. Uh, and it seems like all three videos are 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 playing. Uh, so I don't know. Um, I don't know who I can offend. You know, it's like we've been doing stuff with Red Dead. It can't be this. I didn't know have to do with you know because it's like that's kind of never happened. Um, so uh, we'll uh, if, if something pops up if if something comes up I start posting videos today and you're like hey Steve your videos aren't posting I'll have to stop and fix it because I want but as I know and, and everyone's been commenting in the sections the three videos are back and okay 
on my Instagram page for everyone to see, to see your signing. So I, I'd like to think that I took care of that. But let me know if I have it because um, I, I want you guys to be happy. Um, it's old Austin. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I've, I got this. I got this. Someone gave me this shirt several months back uh, with the trip to Austin. And I, I love it. It's kind of that cotton where it's like, I don't know what it is, but it feels kind of waxy. But like if you if you get like a stain on it, it comes off. I don't know. I love this shirt. I absolutely love this shirt. Um, a stand-up comedian friend, uh, Dinah Lefford, uh, uh, got me this shirt. So it's 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 I, I actually I love this shirt. So there you go. Um, uh, and of course, uh, NASCAR. Um, because I, I'm from Daytona. What do you expect? You don't have to like NASCAR, but uh, the 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 clash is going to be here in, at the Coliseum in L.A. I mean, L.A. is embracing NASCAR now, uh, and it's more inclusive now, and it's fun. It's fun. I didn't appreciate it until I moved here and, and dated a, a lovely woman who's still a very good friend, five years, and she and her dad, still they're still into NASCAR and really got me into it. And it was funny because they said, you're from Daytona. And you just kind of, like, eh. and it's like, it was always there. And I did, and and my my dad's a huge fan, my brother-in-law, my sister. And I was more the artistic guy. I was like, yeah, they're driving in circles, blah, blah, blah. Um, it took me a while. I appreciate racing. It, 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 it is a sport. Despite that famous Donovan McNabb interview where he laughed and said, racing isn't a sport. So one of the other stupid things he said. It's 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 different. It's different. You, uh, yes, it's different, but it is athletics. Because if your stamina, if you're if you slip, you can burn alive and die. So I'm I'm one of those, uh, and you don't have to like it. I'm not saying, but I I've learned to appreciate it. It's not for everyone. I guess if it's like you know I respect it. I just I'm bored. It's like oh I, I get it. It's not for everyone. I'm 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 I was not a big. Uh, European football, or as we say, soccer fan. Um, Ted Lasso is made improvements on that. So I'm, I, this old dog can learn new tricks, but you know, some things I just stand by. Here's one. This is an unpopular opinion. And Kylie, I hope you're watching because I'm drinking out of the cup you got me for my birthday. Kylie Vernoff, um, my birthday right before COVID. Uh, she came to visit, and we had the we had a little Red Dead reunion at a at a bar at his tavern in uh, Atwater Village. Uh, and it's 2019, so this was like a couple months before the for the lockdown. And she got me this this um, uh, piggy mug, and that's one of my favorite mugs. And Kylie, if you're watching, um, and I'll do it here. I I love this piggy mug. I do use it, and I wanted to use it today because obviously the Red Dead mug wasn't plugged back. But I've got a like everyone knows I got a collection. Uh, everyone knows my collection of mugs, and uh, maybe maybe I'll just switch because I want this. But maybe I'll pour a different drink. This is coffee, but I'll pour a different drink later out of my Cheech and Chong mug. I got all kinds of mugs. I do collect them, but this one is just as Red Dead of a cup as the one I took yesterday because. Uh, Susan Grimshaw gave it to me for my birthday, and I love it. Thank you, Kylie. She's like, do you ever use that thing? I was like, yes, I do. I'm drinking from it now. I, I just, I'm thinking, because I'm reading a comment. Someone just asked me, who's your favorite NASCAR driver? Um, it, it, you know, it's funny. I... I would say, you know, I, I just like the sport and have a fair, but I always enjoyed Clint Boyer, uh, Bill Elliott, my dad, my my dad and his brother, my my uncle Glenn, always Bill Elliott fans, and they're now they're Chase Elliott fans, so they're fans of the whole Elliott family. Um, uh. Yeah, I I would say
I would say, but like currently, probably Chase Elliott. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. I, I, I have, it, 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 you know, it depends because I also we see how someone's doing this in the season. Um, but uh, you know, I always like some of the racers I like that were just underdogs that you wanted to see win, like, uh, like uh, for years, like uh, Michael Waltrip and 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 Kyle Petty, just because they just seem to never get. But always, you know, I I'll pick an underdog and it's like ah, oh, I want these guys to have their have their time um but it you know it, de it depends it depends uh it, you know it's it de like I kind of look at everyone and um I, I see how they're doing like, and I look at the year before and I kind of want things to kind of even out because I, I, I want I want at least some drivers it's like oh well so-and-so has won three of the last six races and uh you know, so-and-so hasn't won from since that one race at the beginning of last year, you know, and uh, it's, it changes. But I, I, I uh, we Palmers, we've always been really uh, soft and leaning towards uh, anyone under the Elliott family banner. So, uh, so yeah. I hope it answers your question. We'll, we'll, we'll see. What's your favorite moment when making the Red Dead games? Um, hanging out afterwards, going to a, going, getting a, uh, some of the best, some of the best moments, um, just because we came in from LA and, and, and the New York people would just kind of go back to their homes. If they're married with kids, it's like, I gotta go, you know, go home to the wife, I get, you know, Roger to have to get home or whatnot. Um, but, you know, usually in the, like in the hotel or something, you know, Ben and Rob and myself are coming in out of state. Uh, also no sheer. Uh, and just not like going to the hotel bar. I mean, some of the, some, some of my favorite moments, uh, he was on yet. I don't know if he's watching now. He might be starting to watch football, uh, was, um, Ben and I would, uh, we would do a thing called uh, whiskey hot tub where we were staying to have a hot tub and we'd go in the hot tub and we'd, we'd get drinks and we'd put them in plastic cups so the people, you know, wouldn't bitch at us. You know, no glass in the pool, which makes sense. But we would bring our scripts down. So we're sitting there drinking. Uh, or we would just not do that, but we would wait till the morning and get breakfast or coffee and do it. And we'd run, we would help each other get off book. Um, and then we'd speed it. So we were like this, like, so when we get there, let's, let's be the first two that just makes it easy on everyone else um, but everyone was really good at getting off book um, and that's your job as an actor but I really like those moments where it's like we we were enjoying the moment and we were helping each other out and it's one of the reasons how we got to bond it's just like we were there so it's like let's help each other get and that was the thing we do it at night and then we do it we do it in the morning we get coffee and we you know waiting for the shuttle to take us to the the studio and we'd be like okay boom 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 um, and yeah, that's, oh my goodness, that was, uh, that was some of my, uh, those were some of my favorite moments. Um, where we say there was also an off-track betting place that I, um, I got known to, I was, Steve likes to bet on the ponies, and, uh, I did quite frequently. That was also fun. That was also one of my favorite moments. I was like, oh, here we go. I'm a day off. I got, you know, staying there, working several weeks at a time, and then we're free on the weekends, and then we can do Saturday, we can do Saturday, and it's like, man, do I did, I know. Um, sometimes the Florida in me just comes right out. Um, the good parts. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, so there you go, uh, Nolay Johnson. Uh, that's, you know, it... it I could easily say, you know, oh, working, I remember doing this scene and that, and that's all great. But now that the game's, what, five years in the past, and, and we celebrate it now by having things like this, and, and you can relive it by playing it, the moments that also live beyond that are the friendships made. And those friendships 
really gets solidified. Not because it's like, hey, we made this thing together, but it's the time spent together. And some of the time with, with Ben or Rob would just be in the mornings um, helping each other get off book because it also helped each other stand each other's characters. We're coming and, 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 and that, um, that means so much more looking back, but yeah, it's, it's little moments like that spending with the castmates. It's, that's one of the, the things I cherish is that it's, uh, you know, uh, being part of this franchise has bore fruit for so many of us, either with job, uh, other job opportunities and stuff. Um, one thing I look at, it's, it's, it's the friendships and, 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 uh, one that's dear to me is, is, is my friendship, uh, with Ben. It's my friendship with everyone, but it, it, Ben, the fact is that we both live in town. We, uh, he's down off the other end of, uh, uh, sunset where I live. And so we, it's easy. It's like, we, you know, we're not, everyone else is kind of out of state or whatnot. And we can, we can hang out and talk football and do stuff. So that, that, uh, that means a great deal to me. I, I think that's when you have experiences and you don't have to be an actor. It could be with anything. It's just like you get older and, and you, uh, it becomes quality over quantity. Uh, it's like, you know, you're young, you can have a bunch of friends, but as you get older and people, they grow, they evolve, they change their personality gets added onto, they have experiences and, and, and you really kind of want to find the, the good friends. Uh, and that's, that's, that's what I've developed, uh, with members of the cast. Absolutely. So that was a longer answer, but I, I hope, uh, Noli Johnson, I hope, I hope that was, whoa. Oh, it's comment section froze. So here we go. Let's say. Uh, Hi, Steve. How was it for you to come back as Bill and get to know more about Bill and his role in the gang? Um, I would say that it, it, um, uh, they asked me this question at the panel of SAC anime. And I think, I think that was probably the best answer that I could, I could give. So I'll try to rehash that. Um, and I get this question asked all the time. I certainly don't mind it, uh, uh, answering it again, but the, the benefit of being a returning character and, um, you, uh, and, and even though like Gabriel didn't, uh, did not play Javier in the first game, uh, Antonio did, um, uh, Gabriel was aware of the original game and the story. So you could, you could see how it ended up. And then it, for, for Rob and Ben and myself, it's like, we, we know where these guys end up. We're okay. We're fortunate. We're doing it. We're doing a prequel. So we're going to make it. We know we're going to make it. That, that was a good, it's like, I don't know who else are going to die. We're safe. That was when we started. It was like this Rob and Ben and I looked at each other and go, okay, we're safe. We know this. We're safe. Uh, and that was a funny thing. Um, and it ended up that other characters were, were safe. Uh, Sadie, Charles, Pearson, Mary Beth, Tilly, uh, safe and well and, and uncle even though we we went we went through a few uncles unfortunately um and uh but i think that it, it's it's it, it's a tragic story and it's just like the big question is like how did you know we, we got hints in the original game with conversation john has with louisa and and Abraham Reyes and, and, and Bonnie and just talking about the past about just, and it's like, okay, so some shit went down and things turned sour and Bill was once one way and this and Javier was once one and Dutch started off and turned. And so it's like it peppered and it's like, well, I would love to see that. And so, um, it, 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 it allowed me to give Bill more depth because some people was like, well, Bill seemed angry and he was, he was the, the, Somebody had clocked Bill is the most mentioned character in the entire first game. And you don't really see him a lot, but he's the impetus that gets the thing rolling uh, to, as far as getting Javier and, and, and whatnot. Bill's kind of like, 
the first the first target. I mean, he's what uh, Edgar Ross is like. You're you're going after him because he's the he's the wild. Every they're, the others are being more discreet. Bill's standing like a sore thumb, and he's the loudest and most obnoxious. And he's right here, and he's really uh, shaking the ant farm. He's stirring the bees nest. So he's got to he got to stop him first. So that there's a lot of pomp and circumstance with that. Um, but I, I, I think it allowed me to, to, uh, j just give Bill layers. Um, and, and, and I did Bill, uh, uh, a lot of times I did Bill the way I was directed to do Bill. Um, because he, he can seem more animated. He can seem more boisterous, but that's, that's who Bill is. But Bill does also have his subtle moments. He has his thoughtful moments and it's like well, I wanted to give a balance, and 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 then you know I, I spoke to Rod Edge about stuff, and 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 uh, uh, some of the other uh, uh, you know assistant directors who would do scenes like uh, like uh, Gethin Aldis and um, uh, and and Jeff Weens, and we would talk about it. And sometimes I'd be in, I was like I. I I think Bill would say this more subtly because he's crazy, but not in this moment. I think even though he's a little, hmm, he he does attempt to be thoughtful, and and we worked on that. We I think we found an interesting balance. Some and sometimes Bill is up and down, but then based on everything he's gone to, and 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 and, and as you play, he says like I think Bill has PTSD, and a lot of fans feel that. That can match someone who almost is kind of just like uh, there's loose wires up there, but it's but all wires you know, start off in a grounded space, in a grounded, you know, and, and, and I think that there, I was allowed to give Bill a lot more depth and I want, and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, there was, there was always more to Bill, uh, to me than, than, uh, was seen in the first game. And I, and I don't know if there'll be a, a prequel. I don't know if the Red Dead 3, I don't know if I'll, I'll get to play Bill again. Um, but I, I have, so much love and adoration for the character. I, I hope it would be it would be glorious to play him again, and, and I would like to explore uh, anything that there if there if there is to be a Red Dead Three. Let's say there ready to be another prequel, and it's like we're going to find out what happened. It, it culminates to the Blackwater Massacre. I, I don't know if that story is even in the pipeline or what's going to happen. Your guess is as good as mine. But if I was able to come back as Bill and further explore it, as far as everyone asks, well, what what's what is, is Bill gay is blah, blah, blah. And I've answered that as like, I think it's up to the player. It's very ambiguous, but by being ambiguous, you can invite more people into the story from their perspective where they're coming through with their lives. Um, it, it's, it's still an open book. Uh, and, and that's the great thing with you as fans. If it's, an, if it's, op as, if it's still an open book to you where you want to explore it, then rock, then that gives Rockstar reason to go further and make the game so that you buy it and you play it. Um, so don't give up. Keep it. <laughs> let them know you want to. Let them know you want to Red Dead Three. Uh, that would be great. But we'll see. I don't know. But I, um, if I get the chance to play that character, if I'm blessed with that opportunity, I've already been blessed twice, and I've been and, and that's more than than other actors get to, to play a character that's kind of beloved in gaming and uh kind of like this becoming this weird gay icon i don't i i've i've heard that i don't want to state that that's that, that that's not for me to say that's that that's the fans it's it's i've done the work the work i have not control over it it's it's the audience will control the destiny from here on out but yeah if i get the chance to play Bill again and add more depth as in coming forward, or as far as being in scenes with others to maybe my experiences would add more depth to another character. I, I, to, to play in that sandbox again would be an, an honor and a humbling privilege. And if I am so fortunate to do it again, I would do it in a New York minute. I hope that answers your question. Did you use real guns when shooting RDR 1 and 2? They were guns... I guess they were just dead guns where they... they um, guns with open chambers, but they, the barrel was blocked because they wanted the, the sound, but we never... Uh, 
there is no use or we would never fire blanks. So they were, they were, they were inactive as far as it couldn't even shire, fire a blank. Um, and so, so it was, but we said, you know, we wouldn't, uh, uh, we would point the, the thing, if, if that's a question, maybe asking what I think is, is like, I don't, from here on out, when it comes to our union and, and, and based on recent events, if things will change because of recent events, uh, in, in entertainment with the use of firearms, I don't know, but we, but because it was performance capture and that stuff is, is in, in effect digitally added, added like they do in Europe, uh, it, it, they were guns with workable chambers, but they were they were unable to be loaded with blanks or anything. So they were they were inactive guns, but they the chamber would click because those noises were picked up. They wanted the authentic sound, and and uh, you know I would I had I had my Bill's bolt action rifle and the it like there they had tiny little performance caption balls on the gun. We tried not to get so you would see it and and you know. Poor Kieran is right. I don't know what the comment was before that, but Kieran got a raw deal. You'll die, boy, but you'll lose your balls first. That would be... Hey, who wants that quote on their print? I, that is a great quote from that mission at the Six Point Cabin. No one's ever asked for that quote before. Usually you keep it clean at night, but I was like, that. I, I'd write that on a print. <laughs> It's a, thank you for bringing that up, Chloe. But I, you know what? That's that is a quote no one's ever asked for, and that's a funny quote. So if you buy a print today, I'll do it. Only if you want to, though. You know. If you had a choice to play another character in Red Dead One or Two, who would it be? Ooh. Can can I think outside the box there? I want to. I want to. I want to answer that. Someone just wait. Let me go back. Let me see who give you for asking that. This is from uh, NX Nixic NXIC twenty two. If you had the choice to play another character in, in Red Dead One or Two, who would it be? That's. I. You know what? I'm Bill. It, that's a hard thing to answer. But I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say something that's kind of. I'm gonna try to answer, but I'm doing it outside the box. I think a cool character that is prominent in the original game, but you never see, that's, that may be pulling all the strings. Like, if, if you play in chronological order, you play Red Dead 2 and you play Red Dead 1, and then you start listening in, you start listening in Red Dead 1, you hear about, you hear about Governor Nate Johns. And to me, if I wasn't playing Bill and got Red Dead and they've gone to the story, I I would like to work Nate Johns because to me, Nate Johns is is this character that that could be really the one pulling all the strings as far as with Milton, Ross, um uh Cornwall. That's the person that seems to have the power over everything. And and if you play original game, that they always talk about Nate Johns, Governor Nate Johns, and he's the one doing this. And I'm like, who is Nate Johns? And I and and if they did a Red Dead Three prequel, I want I would want to see Nate Johns because to me that would tie everything together. That is he is that's I feel like it, deep down that's the person pulling all the strings for everything. Uh, and if I wasn't involved in the series, but I was following it, and I was like, if you're going to have Nate Johns, I want to audition because I think that would be a cool character. That's kind of like I outside the box because to me, everyone who's done their thing has done it perfectly. And I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. It's like, no, you, you're who you're meant to be. I'm not going to, I'm not going to touch that. Um, but that, that's a character in Red Dead, like in Red Dead lore that, that if, if we, if we did a Red Dead Three in a prequel, I would like I would like that that character to appear because I think that that character holds significant water. Uh, anyway, that's my thought on that. Uh, 
Uh, Cole Lobo asked, that's Cole Wolf. He's like, do you still have the script from the first scene at Fort Mercer with Rob? Yeah, yeah. I kept, uh, we're not, I mean, they made us turn a lot of that stuff in because of NDA uh, on Red Dead 2. In the first game, I kept it. I kept, I kept all my sides. And Rob did too. And then Rob lost his. And he was like, oh man, I had it. And I said, you know, I have the original sides from that scene. I was like, how about I, uh, and I also, in Sharpie on the back, I had like our start date, which was uh, January 19th of 2009. That was when uh, Rob and I started work as John and Bill. And I said, you know what? Uh, I went and I, uh, I was getting, I don't know, I was buying it like an ink cartridge at Staples. I said, you know, and I was, and uh, I said, well, I'll just, I'll just go here. And, and what I did is I, I printed up, uh, I recopied front and back my original sides. And then I paid and I had it laminated so it wouldn't get damaged. And then I mailed that to Rob. And if you've seen a lot of, when he's doing stuff in the coop, on his wall, he has that. It's like a page. It's, it's some of the lines are highlighted and it's a, it's in a laminate eight by 10 sheet. And sometimes he'll take it down and said, you know, Steve sent, this is our scene. I had it. I lost mine. So Steve made a copy of his, laminated it. And I, that's what I did. So yeah, I, I saved all that stuff. And I saved a couple, not scenes, I, a couple monologues I had at the campfire. I saved those too. Um, just cause those, uh, and one of those in particular, uh, monologues meant a great deal to me. So, uh, I, I, I do have some keepsakes, um, but the game itself is a keepsake. And so are the friendships I made. Those are the, those are, those are what lasts. So. What do I think happened to Jack at the end of Red Dead 1? That's a great, I, I, I just, I think it ends perfectly. Uh, again, you know, some things are, are better left unsaid. I think the thing, you know, you uh, not only Bill's sexuality uh, or, or or how, like, at, some people argue, well, what, at what point did, did Dutch really lose it? And I'm like, maybe we haven't seen it yet. Maybe it was the killing of... Uh, of, uh, oh, what's, what's your name? Is it Heidi? The girl that's killed that they bring, um, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's the, the killing of her, uh, during the, the, uh, the Blackwater Massacre, the, the ferry job. Um, no, not Annabelle, a uh, Heidi Court. They talk about, and they, in both games, they talk about he murdered Heidi Court. Uh, and uh, and I, I, I would, I, I think people would want to see that. That's, that's something that, you know, I think Heidi Court's, is, that's another thing. I think that we, we're going to find out who Heidi Court really is. Um, I think that that would be, uh, you know. That would be, what if they do a prequel and it ends with, but you're not playing in the, what if you're, you're playing as, what if you're playing as Heidi Court? I don't, I, I'm thinking outside about, I, it's not for me to say, but just as a fellow gamer and stuff, it's like, a, you know, there, there's things to explore. And if Red Dead chooses to do that, um, I think I could think, I think it'd be fun. And if, and if there's room in me for it, even if it's not till the end, I'll 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 do it because I I I I'd still want to play it. So uh, I hope I answered the question. I think I went off on a tangent. I can't remember if I answered that question correctly. Um. So wait, what was the question again? Oh, what? Uh, okay. I, uh, what happened? What do you think happened to Jack? Um. I you know I don't know I don't know but I th I think it's fun to speculate. I think it's fun to speculate. Uh, you know what? They're going to do, I think they're going to do something that 
goes in the vein with the previous two, but you're right, Jazz Kitty. It has to be, it has to be slightly different. It has to give because it it, it does it, and it will, because um, we don't we don't want the same old uh, same old. But what you know what a cool feature I I always mention this to Ben. I think this would be a cool feature in the next game. Um, in both games, you have different storm systems coming in. I think if you had interactive storm systems where you could, like a tornado comes through a field, and if you don't get out, and, it, and, this, and a tornado will demolish homes, and if you don't get out of the way, it'll, it'll put you inside a tree. Um, or I think a cool feature is in the snow, you can interact with snow. You can pick up snow, make a snowball, or build a snowman. I know that sounds ridiculous, but what if, what if you'd be able to do that? What if you'd be able to, uh, 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 what if you, what if you able to, to hand, pick up snow, throw a snowball, or, or build a snowman? That would be, I think that would be cool. Um, what else would be cool? Um, oh, here's one. It, 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 you know, in, in Red Dead 2, they really... Uh, you're able to... Uh, like, get small things like crawdads. You, they added fishing. You could hunt, and then you fit in the specifics... I think it'd be cool if if you would be able to do things like collect insects, be the next level, do all the things you didn't read it too, but like part of a challenge is like uh, a botanist asks or, or someone's like, well, I need you to pick plants, but I need you to get, collect like monarch butterflies or have a jar at night and collect fireflies for achievement. It's very small and specific, but it's also something that would be new and uniquely detailed. It was like, I wouldn't, I was stressed out and I just got bored of shooting people. I had a bad day at work. I'm going to, I'm going to go to this, this field and, and I get the, you get the achievement, collect like 50 uh, f uh, fireflies in jars. And then if you do, you get a special gun or something like that. That would be very like mentally soothing to me, but it's kind of weird, but it would be new. And I, and it'd be, it'd be little details like that, that I would love to see in a Red Dead game. Cause it's like, Okay, what's in the vein? What's in the theme that we've established? But what's what's another small in-depth level we can go into with it? And I think interactive weather, like a tornado comes and you're on a horse or you're you're herding cattle and you have to herd them away from a funnel cloud and you could change the difficulty level, that would be insane. Having a tornado like sucking up cattle was I I that'd be hysterical. That also would be like like, I would love to watch game reactors try to get through that, like, stressing out. Like, you know, I think that would be cool. But that, like, I think about that. It's, it's like, okay, other than an actor is like, well, I, I hope I'm in it because I'd, I'd like a job. But the gamer in me, which I separate, I said, okay, as a gamer, here's what I'd like to see. That's what I'd like to see. I think that would be cool. I think that would be cool. What would be another one? What would be something in the that they haven't? Oh, you know, well, I don't know if this would I don't know if this would tick people off or, or be more of an inconvenience. Uh, with your horses, you have to you have to you have to shoe your horses. Uh, that would maybe not all the time. Cause that might really get, that might really, uh, the mechanics might be so specific. They're like, I, I just want to finish this. I don't have time. Maybe like just certain challenges, like you have to do it once or twice. Um, but like, yeah, well, you have to, sh you have to shoe your, uh, shoe your horse. Um, I, I would, uh, if there's a Red Dead 3, I think that they should have all the games and bring back Liar's Dice. Um, I'm glad they didn't put it in Red Dead 2 because you kind of want it different. So people who are discovering the original Red Dead now, it's something new that they can play. But then again, they didn't have dominoes in the original game. So I thought, was, I like both. I like both. But oh, the gambling challenge. 
Uh, when I play, I, I like I always go back to camp. I like I do it in Horseshoe Overlook, and I never get more pissed at Hosea because he always like he's tough to play at dominoes, and I'm always screaming at him. Uh, uh, just because it's just like, I just want to beat you, you son of a bitch. Um, so yeah, I would, I think that would be, those would be cool features. Uh, and the thing is, I, I have no doubt Rockstar is already 10, 10, 20 steps ahead of that. And even it's like, oh, not only do we, did we think of that, we thought all this stuff you didn't think of. And that's, and, and, when, and if and when we do it, here's, it's going to be, and that's just how Rockstar is. So I'm just, I'm just riff. I know nothing, by the way. This is anything I'm saying. Do not take it all with a grain of salt. I know as much about the future of the franchise as you, the fans, do. But as a gaming fan myself, I'm just riffing. I'm just having a chat with you guys. Um, as a gamer, this is what I would like to see. Um, what else? Oh, you know, you know what we never did. I don't. Did we ever have to do this? No, I don't think we did. We never had a brand cattle or brand an animal. That would, I'd like to see that done. We had we had to brand animals. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, those are some things I'd like to see as a gamer. Have you been offered any other opportunities for Rockstar Games? I had an audition. When uh, I did have an audition for L L.A. Noir, um, but for the character, I wasn't right for it, so I didn't get it. But I had an opportunity audition, yeah. Um, I I auditioned for L.A. Noir. Um, but as far as working with Rockstar, it's it's only been uh, it's only been with Red Dead. I've never played Red Dead Revolver. Um. Do I have a favorite playable character? You mean uh, like in games general or or in Red Dead? I liked playing as Bill in the Red in the first Red Dead's multiplayer. You just go around and cuss and screaming. I like that. Yes, he did. Oh my goodness, Peter was uh, Doctor uh, was Doctor Fontaine, and he was he was. He was fantastic in that. That was that was the first time I got I got uh, his uh, saw his work. He he was very cool and slithering and calculating. He was great in that. No, because Peter, um, the audition I I'm sorry, I just hit the camera with my foot. The audition I had was uh, here in Los Angeles. Peter was living in in New York at the time, so they would have separate auditions. So I'm sure when he auditioned, he was doing it in New York. But I I did audition. And looking back, I, my audition, I, it, like, looking back, is like, I, I know how I could have done that now, and I wish I had made that choice, but the choice I made in my audition uh, was a, uh, didn't work. And I need it, because now I look back and it's like, oh, I, I know exactly what I could have done to have a better shot at that. But that's what auditions do. And I didn't know, and they were very vague about the description of the character, um, but it's just, I, I tried something and it didn't work and that's, that's okay. That's all right. Uh, who do you think was the rat of RDO true story mode? You know, I'm thinking about that. If, if, if Michael wasn't the rat and, uh, and Milton planted that. I mean, that's just how devious Milton was. That's, I mean, I, but you gotta understand, there are so many theories uh, that, that uh, I think that's what Rockstar is so genius. There, there's, there's like in-game theory, there's, there's, there's all this stuff that's come out since the game's been released. And there's, and, and people like uh, Sam Strelitz and I did that, uh, 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 did that Zoom sit-in class for for the University of Tennessee in Knoxville? You know about the they were teaching it in college, they, like Red Red Dead Redemption theory, just like they teach Star Wars theory at some major universities. And and we and Sam and I sat in that, and and so there's there's university classes about this game now offered at major major schools, state universities. 
that talk about this very thing. And it, ama it amazes me. I, and, and I remember that. that. To me, that was as interesting as any convention I did. I was like, University of Tennessee is, 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 doing, a, is doing this class about Red Dead Redemption, and they wanted, they wanted me and Sam to speak at it. And we're like, yeah, we're gonna do it. And it's, it, 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 it's like, look, look at what this has become. And that, to me, that's mind boggling, you know? And, they, and they'll debate stuff like this, you know, as far as like, like you know, screenwriting classes or stuff. And it's like Red Dead is, is, is you know, as good as any, or any movie or series and let's debate the characters and this. And the fact that that, that mythos has been created and is, is living now, that means I got to be part of something that I, I, I'm blessed. I, 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 every day I realize it's like I, I was, so many artists do not get to be part uh, or get an opportunity to add to such a colorful canvas as something this big. And I got to, and, I, and I, I'm blessed, and I realize that I'm very fortunate every day. And the soundtrack is amazing, I agree. It's been years that GTA Five staying with us for so many as long, but I wish that Rockstar Games can give us news. Well, here's the thing: um, I know it gets frustrating, but they 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 are meticulous. They they want it to be better than anything anyone has done before, and how they get that done is 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 the trade secret. So I understand why they're being secret, and and it's one of those things where I, I know it gets frustrating. Um, but don't concentrate on so much. If there's other games you're playing right now, and it if, if there are other games from other companies than Rockstar, then man, have a time with those games. Have a time with those games. You can you, you don't have to eat the one fruit off the tree. Um, as a gamer, uh, I, and I listen. I say this as a gamer, uh, you don't have to invest in, in so many. You, you know, you go and 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 there's other things to take part of, and other people are doing great work too. Um, the news for GTA 6 will come out when it comes out. And as a gamer, you know that when it does, you'll see it and you'll flip out. And the first thing you'll say was, oh, it was worth the wait. Because I've read your comments and everyone, everyone does that. I'm guilty of it too. I don't, I'm not, I'm not harping on you guys. I'm saying, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I do it too. You know, you want, you want it, you want it now. You can't have it now. You'll have it when you have it. But when you finally get it, it'll be so great. The first thing you'll say is, yep, totally worth the wait. You know. But in the meantime, enjoy yourself and there's other games to play. You, you can still think Rockstar is the best, but you can also play other games and have just as much fun. It's like, oh, I still like that game. That's, that's okay. You, you can, you're allowed to do that. So do that. Don't torture yourself is what I'm saying. Rank 539. Hey, whoa, Jez, that, that is impressive. Bill's outfit is in Red Dead Online. I did see that. Oops, hold on. My comment section, I think it's frozen. What do you think about the leak? I would have been butthurt. Well, you know what? That's, that's, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we don't. Leaks, leaks can be stressful, especially when you're working on the game, because then you're there and people are, you know, producers are talking and stuff, and then you feel like, did I, did I, I no, I didn't say, did I inadvertently say something? No, there's no way I could have said because you because you're like, I just don't want people to think I had anything to do with it. So when you're when you're when you're part of a company that's worth that much money and you've signed a multi-page NDA and 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 you're in business with someone uh you're 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 employed by someone it's like yeah that gets that's that's stressful on us so i just i would say that uh for anyone people people trying to get the scoop if you have your own podcast or blah 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 trying to get the scoop uh, you, you gotta understand that that's that that's stressful. That's I'm I, I'm not I'm not just saying as someone just yapping. I'm just saying as someone who's as an employee at a company. 
that I that I've established a very good relationship with. Hopefully, I hope they like me. I love them. Um, to hear something like that and think and and then and you're like, well, I'm pretty sure I didn't do it. I know because I'm stressing out about it. But who who did that? Oh, it's it just kind of you feel like this. There's a tension in about it in the room or in the volume uh, in the work day, and that's stressful on everybody. Because because you know it so. If you've got information and you're, I don't know how you got it, it wasn't for me. But if you have information, realize that by putting that out, you are, you have a team of employees at a workplace that you're making their day very difficult and they've got their own crap to deal with. How it's like everyone, it's like you don't like dealing with workplace crap because you got enough stuff at home. It's like, oh, I, you know, it's like, oh, I, my day at work and blah, blah, blah. When a leak comes out, there is a company that deals with a lot of money uh, and a lot of legalities. And then you've got the employees of that company that, that that can connect and spill over to. And you're causing them a very stressful day. So as someone who's been employed with that company, I think that's that's best logistic answer I can give you. So anyway... Well, I, you know what? I, I remember the map leak too. I remember the map leak, and it was a pretty accurate leak. Uh, and, 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 you know, I wasn't privy to information, so it's not like, you know, we, the performers didn't leak it. But we're, we're there as they're dealing with it, and it's, and it's, it's not cool. It, it really isn't. It's not cool. It's not cool. And leaks, leaks, happen but things are kept a secret for a reason um and i and i do believe that the theory that the less you know and then you're surprised makes things uh, look look at the reception of spider-man no way home we had theories who's going to be in it but we didn't see it until we were in the theater and it was so awesome it was so awesome it, it, it's one of the top money-making movies of all time. Avatar just passed it, but but still, I mean that's Avatar, you know. Um, but I don't I don't think I don't think the new Avatar is as fun as Spider-Man No Way Home. And we had our we had our assumptions with it because we're all going to have our assumptions, but no one. And, and there were some there were some leaks. You see, there still were leaks to that, but. It was, it was still great. And, and imagine if those leaks hadn't happened and we just on our speculation. It, it's just like there's a reason they want to keep something for surprise. There's, there's a reason. If, and if you know too much about something, it kind of flattens. It, it, it's like drinking flat soda. It just, you don't, you know, you don't want to do that. So anyway, that's, that's, that's what I feel about leaks. Um, and, and there's a part that sometimes a leak will happen and and you'll you'll the usual kid is like oh i saw the leak oh but that does look cool i'm guilty of it too but then i've been on the other side where it's like yeah you know what though but for the people involved in making it it's stressful because a lot of precautions and, and things were set up so that wouldn't happen and then and then you know so i i i, I see both sides of it but just um I'm not saying you can't be, if you're a fan of something and there's a leak of something that you want to happen, it's natural to be titillated by that because like, oh, it's, it's going in the direction I want. And that's not a sin. If you're a person that has the information and you're about to cause a leak, you're about to cause problems. Don't do it, please. That's my thing. Um... There you go, channel. Absolutely, absolutely. I yep. Been better not seeing it. It's like you still enjoyed it, but it's like just, yeah. If you could turn back time, it's like the excitement. If I didn't, if I didn't know this was going to be this, and I'm playing the game, and then it happens, your brain melts out your ear. And that's what we're, that's what Marvel wants. That's what Lucasfilm wants. Anyone in charge of something big, it's like it's not that we don't want you to get excited, but. We want you to be excited as possible. So if, if we're trying to make sure you don't know what's coming, 
And that's, that's, you know, that's it. So, let me look something. Oh, uh, this is from Mr. Moody Knight. Steve J., I would love to say thank you so much for being Bill Williamson in Red Dead Redemption 2, and you are really incredible with his character motion capture and voice actor of him. Uh, well, and, or you could just say performance. We get, but that's okay. No, it's motion. And I, we went over the terminology uh, yesterday, and, and uh, we did have kind of like a, a slight chuckle about that. And, and just for, if you're signing on today, you weren't here today, I'm going to just reiterate. I, I will get some signing uh, done, but I just wanted to say, um, again, about the, the terminology. And, uh, and this goes in effect to that post that Roger, uh, if you guys follow Roger Clark, and you looked at his post about the term of what the avatar actor is, voice actor versus not, and he, him and Ned Luke joined in, and they got some debate with some of the fans as, as far as the terminology. Uh, and, and I can only right now speak for myself here. Uh, and Ben had his, if you watched yesterday's video with when I had Ben on, Ben put in his two cents, which I totally support and agree with. Um, we, first of all, we love you fans to death. And we never want to feel like we're, we're harping or yelling at you with, with the terminology. Because I know it's, 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 the intent is nothing but of, of love and adjuration. And, and we are so appreciative of, of you fans. You really, are, you really are some of the best fans. And, and, and I want to say this, and we adore you. We, we, we absolutely do. Um, the thing about, again, what we did with Red Dead, uh, even though we also, you know, we also do voiceover, which is fun work. I love doing it. I love, it's all acting to me. Um, we, we seem to get on an Apple box or a soapbox with the terminology voice actor. And the reason why it is not because we're like, oh, we're pissed at the fans and blah, blah, blah. It's not, it, we're, we're not, we're not mad at you. What, we're frustrated, but we're frustrated with, with the, with the, how the terminology works and the perception with our own industry. Because as Roger said in his post, it's costing us work. That's not your fault. And if anything we've said made it feel like, oh, I feel like they're blaming us. That's not what we intended to do. And as a, as a person that's, that's part of the performance capture world, I, I, I want to say, I'm, I'm sorry if you felt that way. That was not in our intention. What we're just trying to do is um, a lot of people in the industry, not, not all, but there are people in charge of project looking down where they pretty much are just bean counters. And, 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 they, and, 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 and they don't necessarily, uh, uh, again, not all, but there are some out there that will, in casting, will someone who is an actor, and then they'll hear the term voice actor, and they will think lesser than. Well, he's, he's, he's more of a voice actor. No. The person trained, the person went to Juilliard, or the person went here, this person went here. They had the same, they started off in off-Broadway in theater. It's acting, it's being an artist. Well, but this person does a lot of that. Why don't you give them that, the opportunity? They they also they they go where the they go where the jobs are. They you know, and some people that I, I have a lot of friends who who proudly, and not that they shouldn't, they market themselves as a voice actor because they, they're in the specific, they found they, they, they found the loophole, they found the soft spot where they booked the most work. And there's nothing absolutely wrong with that. And I've had debates with fellow actor friends about this who felt like I was, call, like I was causing a fight with this. And it, and it wasn't my intention. It was, but, it, but it really, looking back, you know, it, it brings up interesting debate. Um, the thing is, is I know, uh, I know some great uh, actors who do voiceover. And they'll say, no, call us voice actors. I do it like my friend, Mike Pizzuto. Uh, Daniel Ross, who's a member of Celeb Works, just won an Emmy for, for his Disney portrayal for children's programming. Um, Daniel's an amazing, amazing voiceover artist. And he labels himself as a voice actor. And man, that guy delivers 100 out of 10 times. He goes 1,000% above. But I've met him. I've seen him. He's compassionate. He's, if you follow, and if you guys follow Daniel Ross, you know what, you know what I'm talking about. But the, he's got an energy with him. 
Me personally, I'd also love to see him in front of the camera. I think he would do just, he's killing it. He's killing it in the voiceover world. Please follow him, by the way. Actor Daniel Ross. Go right in, and I want you to follow him. Uh, I've done some conventions with him. He's, he's part of, he's a, 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 he's a client of CelebWorks, uh, like me, uh, my management company. Great guy. Biggest heart you've ever met. Um, I think he'd be just as good on camera as he does when he does voiceover. My thing about that is I want him to have just that same opportunity because he, he's, a, he's a great actor all around. And, he, and he, 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 he stands by the voice actor term and he owns it and he should, and he shouldn't be ashamed of it. I'm not saying, what I'm saying is the people in charge who, can, who give roles and stuff, because he has voice actor uh, on it, labeled with him, I don't want him, or like my uh, my my friend Mike Pizzuto, who's done the, he's Mike's been a good friend of mine for twenty plus years. You've seen him in posts and stuff. Some of you follow him. He does. Uh, if you're big anime fans on Netflix, he does a lot of characters you know. Uh, if you're following Michael C. Pizzuto, please go follow him. You're like, oh wait a minute, I like I didn't know who the guy is, but I watched. Oh, he's so and so and so and so. That's Mike. Yeah. Uh, Mike and I have had debates about this thing. I mean, we've had heated debates and it didn't even be heated. I, I adore Mike, but this, but my, my point is Mike, like Daniel leads into the voiceover thing, but I've also seen Mike on camera. I've seen Mike on stage. Mike is terrific. And I want, and if he wants to do more on camera work, I want him because he deserved the same opportunity. That's, that's not your responsibility. And, and we understand that. So if you felt like that, but the people who are in charge of casting, the, 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 the certain understanding of a nomenclature or terminology they hear, and a lot of the times, it's unfortunate, they hear voice actor and they think, oh, you're in this, you're in this category because you're kind of lesser than. That, that's, I want to end that. Is one of, it, a lot of us want to end that because it does cost jobs. They can label themselves however they want. If they choose, if they choose the audition, I want them to have an opportunity as actors. Period. No matter what they do, whether they want to do, uh, they want to do Broadway and they, they're doing a touring thing or whatever. Because to me, acting is acting, and a great role and a fun job can be just as good as a major motion picture, if if it's good quality, if it's good storytelling, if it's good narrative, it's worth seeing regardless. And I just want people to have those same opportunities. And when certain people are in charge and they hear these terminologies, they think greater than, less than them. Not all of them, but unfortunately more than should. So I think on my end, again, I, I was wish Roger would sign on if he had, his, but, but coming from me, that's how I see it. I just don't want people to suffer because some people in charge look at it differently than it should be. That's my spiel about the voice actor thing. Um, uh, anyway. I hope that answered that question. But we, we went over that yesterday. Some of you weren't on here. So I thought I'd bring it up again. And, uh, and there we go. So who else do we got here? And you're right, Chandler. I just uh, and, and and my director Patty Murphy from Lulu and Electric Dreamboat was on the him and uh, Michael J. Casey, co-director. They were they were on uh, uh, the stream yesterday, and Patty said to Grass, "He said, I'm just going to call you an artist because that's what that's what I know you as." And I'm like, "That that works too. That works. Uh, that works too." Um, but uh, but again, I don't. Listen, I, it's not like I look down on it. I was like, I'll, I'll take any job. I'll take any job. I've had any type of job revolving acting. I've had fun in them all because that's what I've chosen to do with my life. Um, I, just, I just don't want to miss out on opportunities. Like, have, it's like, have me, on, have me audition. And then if you see, I'm like, I still don't think you're right. It's like, that's fine. That's fine. I just, I don't, you know, just get, if, if, if I may have the fair shake, uh, I'm willing to do it. So anyway, but yeah, no, you're right. I appreciate that, Chandler. Who else we got here? Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Jez. 
Oh, Chandler asked what was the most annoying part of performing as Bill. Uh, there was no annoying part. Um, yeah, there's nothing annoying about it. I would say that, uh, um, I wouldn't call it annoying because I learned how to deal with it, but just, um, uh, I had to wear thick socks because we were wearing boots the whole time and sometimes we had to do sprinting. Uh, so they, they saved it in the system with our avatar during things if we're, you know, if we're running in missions alongside your playable character and stuff. Um, so it's just like having thick enough socks if I had to run in the boot. One time I got an ingrown toenail, but it was, you know, it, it just, it, it happens if, if, if your socks are too thin or your boots are too tight. I got, I got the pair of boots that worked fine and those were my boots for the rest and then I didn't have problems. Um, I just say once in a while, the placement of the performance capture balls around my tailbone, sometimes getting in a saddle, one would shift and then it's like, Wah! and then that, that was not a pleasant feeling. Um, but no, I, I, I would say just things like that, but no, it, 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 uh, it's, listen, I had fun, uh, every single day of playing Bill on both games. Um, I, I, I was so excited being in it. And so that I wouldn't say it was annoying, but there's some things you I'd say you'd have to be careful of. Um, or um, what was I'll tell you what was annoying because this, this is in no fault of anyone or just not like the gripe, but you you had to be careful. You're doing a scene where you either you hug a character or something and a lip of the Velcro on the balls. Was it, and sometimes like the scene or where like if someone like. Uh, uh, Roger and Kylie are dancing as, as uh, either uh, at camp as Grimshaw and Arthur or Mary Beth or something, or you go to, you're going to hug someone or you're going to lift someone up. And then like the, the Velcro, the por uh, por performance capture balls would come off your shoe and then Velcro onto the person you touch. Uh, that, that would get annoying sometimes because then it would make a sound and then in the, in the digital read atop the, it, like it would screw, it would screw stuff up. Um, but, but, you know, it wouldn't happen a lot because, you know, they have a way with, it's like, there's a, there's a, there's a cloth pad that goes over the Velcro. So the, the, the mail of it doesn't catch on to anything felt or velvety or whatever. Um, but no, it, I mean, it looking, it's, I don't want to say annoying because every, every day was a pleasure. So there was just little obstacles if you've never done motion or performance capture that you learn and, and some of it's laughable and it's like, oh, I had, you know, that was kind of funny looking back, but I, I, I did a trick. I learned how to not have to worry about that, but, uh, no, it's, uh, it was all good. I miss it. I miss it. I really want to do it again. So we shall see. If I were to design my, your own, I, you know what, that, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't have a desire to design a game. I would rather someone else design an awesome game and then let me play it. But, uh, hey, afternoon, Victor. Hi. Um, uh, uh, Patty Murphy, who was on yesterday, uh, producer and co-director of uh, Lulu and the Electric Dreamboat, he's looking to design uh, a, a, a horror video game. And I wish he was on now because we could ask him about it. I don't have a desire to design a game. But I could say, you know, I have an idea for a game and then give it to Patty. And it's like, will you do the work? I, I don't want to be bothered. But, but, but I think that would be cool. Can you, can you flesh it out and make that? Yeah, I, I you know. Well, well, like I said earlier, um, how about like if they did a Red Dead 3 or another Red Dead game, like the certain features I'd like to see. I'd like to see that in a game, but I don't have a desire to sit down and hammer it out because I, I, I'm not a game designer. I, was like, I know what I'd like, but I don't, it's like, I'd be like, here's the ideas. Will you make this? I don't have the time. I just want to make it and play it, please. That would be me. So, um, you know, but there's, I, there's things, yeah, there's things I'd like to see. Uh, oh, Nicole's tagging Patty. It's like, uh, sign on here. I want to talk about this game. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, the thing about, uh, this is from As Gogs, you're going to go live with fans. The problem with that, I'm, I'm trying to leave time open so some of my Red Dead cast or some other 
Uh, some other names in gaming would sign up because I think you'd rather see them. The thing about signing on with fans is that there's so many of you. If I if I start signing on, uh, people would feel left out because I know I can't get to everyone, and it'd be oh why didn't you get to me? I'll do that, and it's 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 hard. It's I've done I've done certain events. I've done with Jemmy where I have like little uh, online room parties uh, with people because that that measures it equally to get online. But it that's that's the problem because I I think I did it I. I did it once and then 10 people got a gripe with me and I did, and I was like, I didn't mean to hurt feelings or offend, but some people are like, well, you did me and blah, blah, blah. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I could do it be fair, to be honest. That's why I, that's why I, I, um, in good measure, I, I and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to leave anyone out because I'm, I'm doing my best to read your comments and keep you involved. But to go live with someone, there's going to be someone that's going to feel left out if I don't get to them because it's happened before and I never heard the end of it. And I, and I certainly didn't mean to hurt feelings. Um, I look like a, oh, I don't think you look like a wreck, but then again, I can't see you. So you might be safe in saying that. If you didn't play Bill, who'd you want to play? Uh, I, Phoenix, uh, Skypaw, I answered that before you signed on, but here's, I will, I'll say the answer again. And what the answer was be is like, um, I think everyone in the game in both Red Dead 1, 2, and Under Dead Nightmare, they nail it. Like everyone's everyone's good, but there there's a character from the original game that's talked about constantly that I would love to see come to life. And if I was if I wasn't involved in the Red Dead games and they did a like a prequel Red Dead 3 and then introduced this character, I would absolutely love to be that character. And that character is Governor Nate Johns. And Nate Johns is mentioned a lot in the original game. But based on chronological order, uh, you play Red Dead 2, then you play Red Dead 1, um, Nate Johns seems to be the phantom shadow figure that's pulling all the strings with the FBI, the Pinkertons, um, Ross, and Milton. And, and that's like that would be the person I'd want to see um, because it's like they're, they're the ones that are pulling the trigger as a speak as far as getting stuff done or take out the, re the remaining of the Valendrilla gang or do this because it was all it was all political motivation um even john john says it's like uh helping uh, a governor get elected by eliminating the scum i think he was telling this to bonnie in the first game but i think that would be interesting to if there's a, i was saying earlier if there was a red dead 3 to actually bring in the character of nate johns because the impact by the time you you play and you're playing the original game and the stories going through the years and evolving Nate Johns is like, he's the guy pulling all the strings. I'd love to see that. And if I was yet, and if just an actor outside, if someone else was Bill and, and, and I had a choice to be in the Red Dead universe and play a character, I'd said, I'd like to play Nate Johns because he seems like the guy pulling all the strings. And, and I want to see what his deal is. So who's the cast member who plays Charles? That's No Sheer Delal. And No Sheer is, thank you, someone... Tagged it. Yeah, Nicole J just tags his, uh, his uh, handle. Um, Nashir has been killing it. Nashir, Nashir is just a beast. He's been killing He's Nashir's awesome. Go check him out. He's in everything now, He's, and he deserves to be. He, out, of, out of the entire cast, and not, and, and not saying that the other cast don't hustle with other work, Nashir hustles. Both... Both him and his wife Sharon, and and sh and she's tagged in there too. Go check out his uh, Doshir's wife uh, Sharon, and if you don't know who she is, you probably do and don't realize that. Go look at her. Go look at her resume, and then you're like, holy crap! And you're like, how come they never do husband and wife? They would like a husband and wife duo at a convention. A, they would slay it. The lines would be out the door. It would be out of the county town limits. The line would be so big. But they're so busy doing new work, they don't have time to convent conventions. And they're, they, uh, they, they, they hustle. They, I've never seen a guy hustle more with everything he does. And that doesn't, and, 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 and the other cast members are always doing other things and they're hustling. No, Shear's just like freaking, he's a workhorse. He's insane. But that's, that's no Shear.
No, seriously, check out his IMDb. Go to his Instagram. Look at all the stuff he's done. He's probably in your favorite things and you haven't even seen it. Or you've seen it, but you haven't realized that that's no sheer. But seriously, go check it out. Um, he just, he's slaying it, man. That's right. There you go. Sharon Muthu. I was just going to let people look up, but if if you look up and you, you love the the Carmen San Diego reboot and you're like, oh my God, yep, that's that's Sharon. Um, they're, they're killing it. I swear, if they ever decided to do a husband and wife convention appearance, the line would be out the door because I don't think they've... Sharon might have. I don't know if no she's ever done a convention. He just doesn't have time. I'm just saying if he did, he would kill it. Because he is a stud. That's not a performance. That's just no sheer. Like Rob being John, just being the country guy that is, he doesn't need to perform. He just says, and that's no sheer. No sheer is just no sheer. I, you know what? Um, I've, I've considered, I've considered a lot of things. Um, I, you know what? That's funny because I've never done, I've never done an audio book. I've done documentary voiceover. Uh, I've done, I've done some other things, but, uh, I've, I've never, I, I, yeah, I'm one of the people that's yet to do an audio book. I don't know if Ben's ever, I can't remember who's done an audio book. Roger, Roger's killing the audio book, um, world. And he's had some really good stuff out there too. But he's also done, uh, Roger's also done uh, National Geographic. I Like, if you go, like, his National Geographic stuff is great. I love his National Geographic stuff. Azog's the, the no sheer. Okay, so here's, I will tell that story again. That is a funny story. So this was, uh, this is, uh, what is this? This is, okay, this is the road. We were filming the scene with Bill and Micah in Rhodes, uh, the one, the one with, the one with Sean, you know, you know the one, I don't want, if you haven't played the game yet, I think you guys know which one, that, that, uh, that incident, that incident in Rhodes, the ambush, um, so we're walking down the, the street, and it's, yeah, it's, it's Bill, it's Arthur, it's Sean and Micah. And, uh, Pete wasn't there that day or Pete was there, but they had him in the other studio cause he was, he was, he was doing something else and they had, they, I, I, yeah, I think it was. No, I believe it was no sheer because he was present to it. Uh, uh, was just standing in for the, the movement of Micah. And, and, and if I remember correctly. And so we're doing that scene where uh, something happens and then everyone scatters and then Bill goes to the left uh, and, and, and Micah, Arthur kind of go to the right and then you're facing down the street the roads, uh, there's the wagon and there's people on the rooftop. And I think that just, I don't know, just we, we got confused of which way to turn because I'm supposed to go left and hide behind the, build, the sheriff building or the, the, the cart there. And uh, I guess our just signals got crossed as far as like where exactly he was standing. But, uh, or maybe no sure, since he was feeling he, 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 he forgot, he's like, oh shit, is Pete supposed to go or am I supposed to? And I think he just got confused for a second because, I mean, he would, he was plugged in to, to, as a stand-in for that moment. And I, I guess I'm turning to go to left and I, I've got my gun and, and he, he's he got power show and he went and he turned and, just, and I went the wrong way for a second and tried to readjust. Like, oh, wait. And he elbowed me. And... And it really hit me in the face. But what he did is, is he he basically from the arm like 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 elbow frog punched me. But he just went came in and it and he and he put his weight and it just knocked me back. 
Like I went up in the air, feet out, and and back flopped. Like I I went down, and and it took the air out of me. And that was okay at the end because I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But what happened as soon as he hit me and I went airborne, and my feet went up. My performance capture with the camera and the and the headgear, like because uh, I wasn't strapped in because sometimes if we do more slant, they have a chin strap just in case there's movement. And I wasn't strapped in, but I was supposed to just duck. I, it wasn't a, you know, it wasn't supposed to be what it'd be. So he hit me. And as I'm like midair feet out, the whole helmet comes off. And in that moment, uh, all the producers and animators that are behind with, with the, the little, we'll call it the digital, or the little digital center or whatever the stuff, they're looking at the camera. They're looking at the avatar. And from their point of view, looking at the screen, they see Bill Williamson and his head just floats off his body. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like uh, Bill was hit so hard his head ripped off. And they're dying laughing. And then people look out there, oh, Steve, are you okay? But they were laughing because they, cause what they're seeing is Bill's, Bill's avatar with the hat and the plaid shirt. And his head ripping off. And 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 uh No Sheer is laughing because he's like, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, man, you're strong. Like, that guy's an ox. He could take anyone out. You do you don't mess with him. Um, and I got up and I was just like a little winded. And I'm like, they're like, you okay? And they're laughing. <laughs> and I they're like, it's not, it's not that you possibly got hurt. We're not laughing at that. We're laughing at this. We're laughing at the animation of Bill's head getting ripped off. And, and that was, uh, that, that's what happened that day. And I didn't go and see it. I just, I was just like, I, I'm taking your word that that was hysterical, but I was like, I got to catch my breath now. And we continue, it was fine. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what happened that day. <laughs> that was crazy. Hey guys. So that's that story. I never mind telling that one again, because that's, uh, yeah, you know what? I didn't want to hold anything up though. I didn't want to hold anything up because trying to go, go up there and say, hey, can I see this play bit? But, you know, it was like we were in time, so I didn't want to be rude, but I just like, you know what? I'm going to take it for your word. Uh, but I actually, it was funny. They were laughing so hard. It's like, well, that's a story we'll have for the future. And yeah, now I'm, I, I do signings and stuff and I tell that story. And uh, yeah, that was, that was fun. No way, Johnson. I hate Micah. Well, <laughs> as long as you don't hate Peter, Peter's great. Where can I find that vid when you told the fans? The story? Oh, I I can't remember. I've told it and I, I've told the story many times. Um, is that that story or which story? I, I, the, I can't, I don't know if there's any video uh, uh, or YouTube of a, con, of a convention that I told the No Sure story. Um, I've told other stories. Um, hmm. Let's see what's in here. All right. Uh, hold on. K. There you are. K. K, are you still with us? You sent three hearts. You're still with us, right, K? Because I got a... Yes, K. Hold on. K, did you see this? Send me an emoji of a koala bear if you are still on and you see this. Presley, do I love Elvis Presley? I do, and I'll tell you what, I'm very, very, very sad about the passing of Lisa Marie. I, I loved the Austin Butler film, and the Tom Hanks film that came out this summer. Um, it was great to see him win the Golden Globe. Um, I was, everyone was singing Brendan Fraser, um, but I, I, and I love Brendan Fraser to pieces. Um, 
and uh, uh, but I, I loved Austin Butler's performance so much. I kind of still want to see him win the out here. <laughs> wow, that was a sneeze. Kay, are you still with us? Okay, you are still with us. Kay, okay, Kay, hold now before I go any further though. Uh, here's Kay's journal from yesterday. She went, um, Kay's a friend. Uh, Kay's done interviews on her YouTube channel with the cast. So I'm doing, I'm going to, Kay, I'm going to do a little extra drawing for you on the back. So you, there you go. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a little, just a little sketch, something simple, uh, uh, on the back. So you're here for it. These, these been resting overnight, so I'll be pissed beyond recognition if we're having more of the frickin' uh, ink problems. No, this looks good. Okay. I'm gonna, Kay, I'm giving you a lucky horseshoe <laughs> on the back. Is that okay? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna write a little something else on it. Because the whole cast, Kay, we love you so much. And I know things like this you you tend you need for yourself, because we all do. It says a good luck charm for the new year. And Kay, I hope you have a wonderful wonderful 2023, because we love you very much, okay? There we go. I want you to miss out. And I said I was gonna do that. Uh that's just a little added because you work very hard and stuff came up yesterday. You weren't able to see it. Um, and the last thing I want to do, I don't want to have any more problems. Uh, if you're just signing on, I will say this. If you're just, if you're, yay. Oh, I, those are tears of happiness, not sadness. Oh, I wanted to say this to everyone regarding the little incidents where like I post a video and then you guys commented, hey, the video is showing up. Uh, when I was done last night, I had dinner and then I signed down. I was looking at the orders signing today. And there was something on my Instagram saying like the uh, the video got blocked. All videos can be seen because you guys have been commenting in the comment section. So obviously all three from yesterday are up. At one point they weren't and I figured out that there's some filtering system saying, uh, it was a company saying you broke copyright thing because something, something. And I'm like, what copyright? Cause I haven't, it's quiet. I'm not playing music and, and I, um, I mean, I've got Red Dead stuff in the background. I mean, that's not a problem. I didn't know if it was, if I got dinged or tagged because of my Jacksonville Jaguar stuff. I'm wearing a NASCAR thing. That has never been a problem with anyone wearing a, something on the, the clothing from all the videos that all the casts we've done over the years since the game out, game came out. I couldn't remember because I'm like, I, I'm not playing any music. I'm going through videos. I was like, I, I, I did not play music to avoid the copyright thing with these videos. So I was like, well, what? And I didn't know. And I, uh, and it, 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 in the second video with Ben, it was saying that I had tagged some stuff. And I was like, is it because I tagged this? So I deleted it. I changed, I, I, I changed stuff in the, in the, the written part of the post of the tag there. Um, and it doesn't seem to be a problem because you guys have been going back. You've been commenting on the three videos from yesterday. So I think things are clear. Um, I'm not wearing Jaguars gear today. Uh, I hope this isn't a problem. And if it is, and the, and the people who tagged me yesterday think it is, I will wear a generic hat. Just don't not post my video. You know, I'm not playing music. So uh, let me know if it happens again. I haven't posted, but eventually after a couple hours, I'll stop for a break. This will be video one of day two. And then if you guys could help me out by just keeping eyes, if you're having problems, like I'm on your thing, it's not, I don't see that video. Uh, then I'll, I'll do what I can to fix it again. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, always a little hiccup, but you know what? That's you learn and then and you move forward. Uh, anyway, how about we get going? Uh, we'll sign a few things. Uh, it is 1136. I'll probably go six or seven minutes over because I was a little late. Um, my, my, my coffee maker was giving me problems. So forgive me. But yeah, again, day two, I didn't start on time. You will get that time back, I promise. My coffee is like a little watery. Something's wrong with my Keurig, which makes me sad. That is ice cold now, but it, I, it's still good. Uh, my hair is flat. And I'll be honest, my hair is, my hair is thinning over the years. I'll just, you know, it, it's, it is. It's like I wear a hat. I've always had a slightly thinning spot back here. Uh, it's not too dissimilar, um, but sometimes depend on how I was in coma. But it, it's, uh, I've always had like th very thin, silky hair. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't have, uh, yeah, but I, I got, my widow's peak is coming in. Um, uh, yeah, it's just one of, it's just one of those things. It's just, I'm no, I, I, I got real nice teeth though. I don't know why I just did that. Fabulous this guy. No, I, I, I'm known for very nice teeth. I will take the teeth over thinning hair. But no, my, I, I wear a hat because my hair is thin. Um, I used to have long hair and, and it started, and I just wear a lot of hats. Um, uh, I've thought about shaving my head, to be honest. I'm just being honest with you. I'm getting older. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't like lying to my fans. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I thinned out. Uh, I've lost 30 pounds. In the last several months, during August, September, uh, I'm, I'm being healthier. Uh, teeth are good. Uh, eyes are generally good. Don't have glaucoma. That runs in my family. I get that checked uh, every few months. Um, I'm doing pretty good health-wise. My hair is sitting a bit. And if that's that's all I got to worry about, then I'll go bald. Because, you know. So that's what it looked like. I mean, I got hat head, but it's just like, it depends on how I do it. Yeah, it's just like, you know, it doesn't look, it just, I just got th very thin, soft hair. Um, and it, you know, I can still comb it and it looks, sometimes it just looks more bushy, but it, you know, my widow, it used to be down here and then my widow peak has gone up a bit. Um, yeah, it just depends how I comb it. That's, it's, it's messy. That's why we're at. That's it. Now, you know, full disclosure. Yeah, I think I look good in hands. And I can do my hair where, you know, but I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm a hat guy. I'm a hat guy. Thank you. Thank you. The, no, the amount of time. Did that just make you laugh? Me just taking my hat off? Well. Or my teeth. I, I listen. My parents were big. I got braces young. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Teeth are important. Do you have Bill's hat from the game? That day, I never had a hat like Bill. I have my own hat that's similar, the one I've worn at conventions, like the leather cowboy hat. But that's I that's not from the game. Like Bill's hat with the mason pin pinned up. Uh, that's uh, I forget what kind of hat that's called. Because you when you play Red Dead and you go to the trapper. You can you can get that hat that's made from goat and rats. It's got the rat on it for Arthur, but that that um, it, there's a specific name for that kind of hat with the one side that's pinned and built up. Uh, I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called. Um, but no, I never I never wore a hat like that. That was all digitally created. Can you read the quotes you sign in Bill's voice? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do that. I'll do that. So okay. So the rest of the day I'll do that. But let me do, redo this for K. Then so, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> so this is just reading for K. I'm an American. K. K. A good luck charm. 
through a new year. That's a horseshoe, and that's a heart. And those are the two tastiest marshmallows of the box of Lucky Charms. And don't tag me, Instagram, for saying Lucky Charms. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Charms is copyrighted. Uh, anyway, so there you go. Yeah, I'll do... Oh, whoops, wait, hold on. I want to... Wrong side, I want to let the can try another one. Uh, when is Red Dead Re 3 co coming out? In two days. You've totally missed it. You've been in a coma. Yavas, I'm sorry. Yavas on 5429. You've been in a coma. It's coming out in two days. Uh, I don't really know. I don't know if there will ever be a Red Dead 3. We'll see. We were talking about that earlier. Where were you? Why weren't you here on time? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, I'd love to be part of a Red Dead 3. Uh, as far as GTA 6, we know that's coming. I don't know when that's coming out, but we'll, we'll know when we know. Uh, but just let Rockstar know you, you really want a Red Dead 3 and be positive about it. Don't go on there griping. Uh, just, just say, love your work. Really want to see Red Dead 3. Just want to say that. And, uh, and maybe you'll see it. I never thought Night Court was going to come back. I love Night Court. I haven't seen the new one yet. Cobra Kai and Ted Lasso are ending. Oh, man. That's chicken soup for my soul, those shows. I'm going to miss them. That's what I was saying, uh, Presley, Kid and Shalow. I get it as as a gamer. I get it. You get you 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 want to see something. Look, I've been wanting Diablo four forever, and I've been patient about it. It's going to finally come out this summer, and I know that uh, Blizzard they've dealt with glitches before. But I love the Diablo series. I've played more Diablo than I've played any Red Dead. I've played tons of Red Dead, but Diablo is like to me. So I'm gonna this summer when that comes out, you are not going to see me. Uh, I'm, that's one of my, by the way, gaming bucket list is to be in a Diablo game. Because No Shear's Wife Sharon was in Diablo 3, and so is Joe Ackman, who played uh, Her Harold McDougal. They both were in Diablo 3. Who else do I know was in Diablo 3? Oh, I love the Diablo series. I don't think it's... Uh, now, here's the thing about that. Because they have also... Sony has announced a new Karate Kid movie. My theory is that it's going to be the last season of Cobra Kai. But they're going to end on a cliffhanger with season six. And instead of doing a season seven, the, um, the culmination of the sixth story is going to be finished in a new Karate Kid movie... Or a Cobra Kai movie. Because I think, because they announced, Sony announced a movie, so that's what I think is going to happen. We're going to get a season six, but then we're going to get more Cobra Kai in a feature film. Um, I think that's what's going to happen. So we're not, I don't think we're done, but I, I, uh, I, I, I think they're doing, I think they're doing it right. I think they're doing it right. And I just, I, I love it. I love Cobra Kai. You implore me? You implore me. Say hello to your whore wife. That is a line that Bill says. If you play as Bill in the original Red Dead Redemption uh, multiplayer. He plays Bill and then he says that. Ah. Oh. That's your handle? That's kind of... That's not clean. And I understand that's how you feel. I mean, that, that's a dirty handle, though. I, you know, I appreciate you saying thank you, but I... You know... I couldn't have a handle like that. I wouldn't get very far. Yeah. My mother... I'd never heard the end of it from my mother. You know who you are. Below J. Clegg 17's, uh, yeah. Uh, 
F this bull bleep 69. It very well match your personality. And you have, you have to be you. But I, I could, I, my mother would never let me hear the end of it. All right. Well, let, let me refresh. Hold on a second. We probably should get some signing stuff done because I've been gabbing. It's almost 12 and I haven't, and other than doing the touch up for K, I haven't started signing. So we, everyone's like, why don't you start signing something? Oh, and I'm like, I'm, we're, 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 we're doing this for a long time. I gotta, I gotta fill space. It's all good. We're going to get there. Hold on. How is my, let me, oh, you know what? Let me, I have to refresh. I think I got some new orders. I think I did. Boo, 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 boo. We're gonna do VIP first. All right, we're gonna do our first VIP of the day. Oh, they want me to sign it. Your friend, Steve J. Palmer, AKA Bill Williamson. I'll be happy to do that. This one is a VIP. Hey, I don't, I don't have the, you didn't put the handle in the section. So I'm gonna ask if you're here. Let me know with an emoji of a pickle. You have to send an emoji pickle. Where are you? Dalton Mills. Do we have Dalton Mills? Our first VIP of the day. Dalton, are you with us? If, if you're Dalton, send an emoji of a pickle. That would help. Or a pickle and say, it's me. I'm Dalton. I'm here. I'm here. Roll call. Present. I'm here. Is Dalton with us? I like having people use emojis that don't get used a lot because I kind of have emoji sympathy. It's like, I don't think no one ever uses that emoji, so I'll pick an emoji that no one uses just so in the future you say, I've actually used that emoji because Steve Palmer made me. So again, <laughs> Dalton Mills, we're doing a roll call. We're going to start signing Dalton Mills. Are you present? Are you present, Dalton Mills? Well, I'm gonna have to sign it first anyway, because I gotta do the VIPs first, so. All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna, I gotta put something up here. So, no, not a watermelon, Hassan, come on. Oh, well, then again, if you're not Dalton Mills, you kind of are following directions, so Hassan gets a gold star. I have to make some space on the floor for the ink drying stuff. Uh, one more time. So I'm just going to say I'm doing a roll call. We're going to start. <sighs> yeah, no one uses the pretzel, Hassan. I'm going to give you another gold star for that. That's a good one. I should use that next time. Can you tell me to use an emoji so I can say that? You, you want me to? Okay, uh, Noli Johnson, I need for you to put an emoji of a of the turd, but it has to be the turd. And then uh, a lit Christmas tree followed by uh, a rabbit. So I want turd, Christmas tree, rabbit. Give it, give it. I want it now. Gotta do it. This is Simon Says Emoji. That's what you have to put. Turd, Christmas tree, rabbit. Full body rabbit or the, the face close up, either one. Uh, there we go. Okay, Noli Johnson, following directions. Very good. You may stay uh, in the chat. Okay, so one more time for VIP. Uh, Dalton Mills, are you present? Dalton Mills, let me know if you're here so we can, uh, you did not leave a social media handle, which they're saying you can. Uh, when you order, just why I don't want to leave you out. So one more time, Dalton Mills, are you present? Because your signature, your VIP signature is coming up next. We're going to give you 20 seconds to respond. And then I got to, I got to, I got to do it. <laughs> Dalton Mills, are you present? Dalton Mills. Dalton Mills. General Mills. Dalton Mills. 
We're gonna we're gonna kind of we're gonna get ready here. Let me double check, see if we have any refreshes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. Dalton, uh, if you come back later, we'll get you. So Dalton, we're starting off our first VIP for the day. Dalton, Dalton is getting Bill in the uh, infamous Valentine brawl. The fight between uh, Arthur and Tommy. This is how it started. All right. These had all night to rest, so I'm going to go ape shit if we have a problem. Eventually we will. I'm just hopefully not starting now. <laughs> oh, no. They're good. They're good. I forgot to put the order on the back. I I was just about... All right, here's what I'll do. I'll let that dry and then I'll, I'll do it this way. Right. I was joking about this with Ben because he's like, he did... Um, Streamly does, had two services. Because uh, Ben, uh, no, excuse me, IG Live has two signs. Like, Ben had never worked with Streamly, but he did do an IG Live signing, and that was with, um, who was it with? Um, it's the other one, uh, uh, Roger and Rob Geek, Geek Signs, or... Um, anyway, he had he had done it, but, but uh, he said it was like filing taxes, like getting very long order form numbers, having to write them on the back of the prints. And it's very long numbers and very small uh, print. I don't mind doing it. I, I want to do it right so everyone doesn't get their, their stuff mixed up. But it's, uh, you know, if you're, used, if you're used to going in conventions in person and then just kind of signing and, and that's it. It's, it's, it's just, it's kind of like a rub your stomach, pat your head thing. And, and you, uh, you just don't want to screw anything up. But I absolutely love... Oh, i got to write VIP on here. I absolutely love doing this for you guys, so... That wasn't... That wasn't, a, like, a, a gripe or a bitch. It's just like, oh, it's like I, I don't want to screw anything up. Okay, so I got that. So, okay, so Dalton, you just I just bought you a little more time. Okay. He wants your friend. Oh, let me make sure I don't sign on the face. Uh, okay, here's something everyone can do. Send me an emoji. Send me an emoji of a cupcake if you're excited about March 1st and the premiere of Mandalorian Season 3. Just ate paint. They don't care. So anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, send me 
A cupcake, yeah. Send me the... Uh, there are a few of you. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There they are. There you go. So many... I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I hope we see Grand Admiral Thrawn. Either we're going to see it in the ah Ahsoka series or we're going to see it in Season 3. The de debut of the live-action Grand Admiral Th Thrawn. Okay, here we go. Dalton Mills. Your friend, Steve J. Palmer, a.k.a. Bill Williamson. There you go. Right there, you got a VIP in the back. There we do, 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 do. Here we go. Gas bolt doll, right? Okay. All right, let me just refresh. I got to refresh again, make sure. Okay. All right, what do I just got here? Um, Luke Bruton or Brutton? B R U B R U T O N. Am I saying that? Is it Brutton or Bruton? Luke, because you're next. Luke is getting a red dead card signed. Hold on a second. Um, let me, um, try that again. Luke Bruton or Brutton, B-R-U-T-O-N, no social media handle. Are you here, Luke, because you're next. Uh, actually, we, we're, we don't, there's no more VIPs, so I can, I can just... Um, we don't have a Joker card. We only uh, have number cards left, Luke. But um, I can I can do the request you want. Are you here? Oh, he's here. That's all right. We'll get him. We'll get him taken care of. Okay. So Luke, you are next. Where is Maka? Can I greet you? Thomas07, hi, how you doing? Nice to see you, welcome. There you go. Who's my least favorite character? I actually have one I'm not going to say. Uh, it's one of the smaller characters that I... No, I'm not going to I'm not gonna answer that. No, I love everyone. I think everyone's great. Hey, uh, Niccolo Caloruso from Italy. Hello. Okay, Luke Brutton, I'm doing you next. I don't know... Uh, Luke is getting the uh, a Red Dead playing card signed. I'm going to sign it right now. I left one of my black Sharpies on the floor without the lid on it overnight. And I may have to throw it out. That was an accident. I, I don't usually do that, but I dropped the ball. Or I dropped the Sharpie and I forgot about it. But, you know, sometimes accidents happen. I have also a giant cup full of spare Sharpies, so it's not the end of the world, but I don't like wasting them. So they, they got some one of my pink pens. I had to go to the Blue Rooster, uh, Blue Rooster Art Supplies. That's not too far. If you live in LA, you probably have heard of Blue Rooster. It's like, oh man, I get my shit there. Um, that's where I shop. You just want Lenny. Uh, okay, I'll do it. But I'm going to put an exclamation point and we'll do it all caps because I don't see you on here telling me how you want it. But that's okay.
I uh, like Luke. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can put you over here. Right there. I smear it? Oh, I didn't smear it. No, I didn't smear it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is a uh, official Red Dead card uh, to Luke uh, Bruton or Brutton. Luke Lenny. There you go. We're gonna put that pow. We're gonna finish. It's finished. Done. Got the order number on the back. And we're gonna do 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 do. All right. Ah, oh, game of rules. You're back. All right, what are we going to do next? Ooh, whoa, we got some variety finally. I haven't sold one of these prints yet. Oh, you guys are switching it up. Okay. Madeline. You're getting an you're getting another one. Okay. The dear, the, the lovely Madeline Fragoso. Madeline, what was your, uh, Madeline, are you with us? You got, you're getting another print today. And I, I we had this talk, you told me, uh, who, uh, Madeline Fragoso, Madeline, if you're back with us, you're, you're up next. You got, you got one of these prints. This is the first, uh, of the weekend of, of these. Remember these? <clears throat> See, because look, my widow peak is, it, it's gotten higher. It's just like, look, I'm, you know. Uh, this is, this is going to Madeline. Madeline, uh, Madeline, if you're with us, Fragoso. Um, wait, you want, Noel, Noel Johnson, you want me to pick a number between one and seven? Four. All right, I'm picking four. Uh, Madeline, this is you, Madeline Fragoso from yesterday. She's getting another print. I just make sure you're here. Hold on. Hold on. All right, Madeline, Madeline. I'm going to write the order number in the back, but again, um, Madeline Fragoso. Uh, this print is, is, I'm going to sign next. So Madeline, Madeline Fragoso, if you're with us, uh, just roll call. this paint. You know what? We're going to bring K on. Hi. Why in the dark? <laughs> because I just came in from being out. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm here. Hello. Oh, hi there. Hello. Lovely. How are you doing? doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. See, well, I'm going to make this. I'm just, I'm just going to, this will be the shot when I post this video of the lovely, okay. the lovely Kay. And then you're going to, it's so easy to find your video now. So that's, that's smart. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing a lot better, actually. That, Thank you. That's good. That's, am I doing this? Yeah, this is the right one. So I got to, 
find something from uh, Madeline Fragoso who got a print yesterday. I don't think she's here, but uh, it's it's hard. It's just like I, I got to go in order here, and sometimes people. I see so many of my friends in the comments. It's so nice to see. Yeah, I I've seen a lot of a lot of people in the comments as well. Uh, people that I've I've known from online signings in the past, and it's very cool having all these uh, wonderful people uh, join us. And again, that's why I'm, I did two days, because some people are like, you're doing two days? You're going to be exhausted. And I'm like, it's, mm -hmm. I'm not, one day will not be enough. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. And is she, no, she's the only thing. I'll, I'll put something. To, I got a different, I don't want to do the same thing I did yesterday. I got to think of new quotes and fun things. To do. So, so how is, uh, how are things where you are? I mean, just same old, really. Um, I'm back at work. I've been, I was off for three weeks with um, mental health problems. Um, it really, really wasn't good. Um, oh, but I'm back now. I've been back for a couple of weeks and my confidence is slowly getting back again and I'm getting some passions back that I didn't have before. Well, I did ages ago, but I lost them. But <laughs> they're kind of back now, so... Well, I'm 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 always glad we you're you're one of our favorite people in the Red Dead community. You've done great interviews with us, and uh, you 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 are near and dear to us. We always we want always want you to do um, uh, I, as I'm gonna I'm gonna because I love this quote from Ted Lasso. It's like I I if you can't stop you from feeling sad. But if anything, please know, don't feel alone uh, because you're not. So Thank you. I, I would never tell you not to feel sad, but I would encourage you is like, at least don't, don't feel alone. No. And, uh, and, and, and know that you're not, uh, if that's, if that brings any solace. Uh, Cause life can be tough, life can be tough. Life can, life yeah, can be tough. And for sure. Just, you've got to take a breather for yourself and 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 there you go and a, I really appreciate that thank you this the whole community itself is just unbelievable the amount of people that I met even just through Twitter and Instagram and even just speaking to them they're all so amazing everyone's just been so lovely and kind and you know like me when I was younger, I kind of struggled to kind of fit in to places. Um, I got bullied a lot and then like it kind of ended up me just being in my own kind of little bubble, kind of isolating myself and then just finding these groups of people that are just so accepting and so loving and caring and it's just, it's amazing. Oh, well that's, this is, the Red Dead community has been so fascinating and, and, and supportive and loving and, and uh, um, I know that they're, I know that they're always there. And uh, it, it, it uh, especially everyone's like, when's the next game coming out? It's like, I, I don't know, but don't the know. <laughs> that want it is we'll always let Rockstar know that. Well, mm -hmm. and, and, and try to do it, do it with, do it with a little, you know, don't, don't be aggressive about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just, in a calm, just on their pay on their social media page, just let them know. Find your inner patience and just constantly let them know. Hey, we we really do want to Red Dead Three. Just throw it out there and know because they do pay attention. <laughs> it seems like they don't. They do pay attention and know that if and when that if that were to happen, if and when it were to come out, it's going to be better than anything you've seen. And everyone says the same thing. It's worth the wait. Much as they get frustrated, they're, Arr! and then they wait, they come back, I'm so glad I waited, and it's like, well, you weren't saying that before. I know. But I get it. You get it. That's just the human nature of us wanting things quick and now. Uh, we're, 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 this is how society is these days, and we're all guilty of at least having one phase. It's like, but I want it now. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're not going to get it now. You have to live without it for a while. I was um, very much like with that for the last of us tv show i was like i can't wait that long and then it was in the corner i was like okay i need to be very very calm for the next couple of weeks 
but I'm not going to be. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's so good. <laughs> what I'm trying to think of, uh, oh, hold on a second. Hold on one second, Kay. I got to do something real quick right. here. I got. I got to think of. I got to think of a new quote. All right. Got it. Uh, here's a quote. This is for. Um, oops. Okay, so I'm signing this for Madeline Fragoso, and I'm trying to think of a quote of Bill's I have yet to use, and I just thought of it. This is the Madeline, and and here's one. Don't try and saddle up to me now, because we have you. <laughs> so Madeline, hey, you get you get a quote that I honestly don't think I've ever used on a print. But Bill has so many great quotes. You. You're making me rediscover my dialogue from both games, and uh, and there we go. Oh. Another one done. So hold on. Let me just click this as complete. Like he keeps asking me if I want to. It's like you want to do this new feature, and I'm like, no, I don't. I'm no, no, stringly because you've changed the format of the signing many times. And I'm just getting used to the new one. They're like, you want to do the update? And I'm like, no, I'm, not, I'm used to reading <laughs> through them out because it's like the change of format and everything's like, no. I'm like ah. Uh, anyway, no. Extremely great. Uh, so, any? Um, let me ask you, Kate. What are you excited about uh, for 2023? Any, any, uh, any trips? Any TV shows or movies? Uh, any goals? Like, what are? I, I'm, I'm actually excited for this. Got a Comic Con on my 25th birthday um, in Aberdeen. So, it's in Scotland. So that's not that much travel for me, which is good. Uh -huh. Um, uh, and Nolan North is going to be there and I've not seen him in years so it's going to be really good to see him again um, a lot of the Sons of Anarchy cast is going to be there as well and I love Sons of Anarchy and um, one of my favourite shows growing up was Avatar The Last Airbender and um, Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender is going to be there and it's just it's like all of the right guests for me <laughs> oh. well that, that, that's and, cool I would love to go to Aberdeen, Scotland. I would love to. I haven't. I I haven't done um, an overseas convention since since September twenty nineteen uh, when I went to the Zurich Game Show in Switzerland. Um, and it's I, like everyone's like, "How come you come here?" And and when ben yesterday he said, it, "It's like we have no control over the mm -hmm. conventions we get invited to." I mean, I I go where I'm invited. Um, and the last one I did was back in September at the, the uh, Megabit Game Factory. Um, um, uh, and I have fun at all, no matter where they are or, uh, you know, what, I have fun at all conventions. I've never had a bad, I've never had a bad convention experience. I mean, some, it's, they've been bigger than others or whatnot, but I've never, oh, yeah. I've, I've convention was like, God, that sucked. Because I, I, it's, it's always been a fun day. So. Uh, I like I like them all for many different reasons, mm -hmm. um, but I I we tell people it's like if you if you want us if 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 you're watching and you you live around Aberdeen and you're and that and what the convention K just described is that's the, the convention the convention nearest you, and you want to see me or or anyone or any other cast member and we're not listed. Um, the best thing to do is is go to that convention's respective website, reach out, and then there's a contact list where you can email email our promoters or email the con run, the showrunners or whatnot, and send an email and and 
and get people together uh, and try to get a bunch of fans, you, Red Dead fans or whoever together and, and do an email blast. It was like, let's have like 15 of us email at once uh, and let them know that there's a fan base. That the, that's, that's the pulse on which these convention runners uh, will it happen? Will it definitely happen? If it if that happens, it's like well, there's there's no see. But if you don't reach out, if I can promise you, it definitely won't happen. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to, you have to reach out. That's because again, we only go to the conventions where we're uh, invited, and doing a streamly um, makes it easier because because that way you 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 cut out the middleman. It's like we're going right we're going right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You in order still to be connected, but, but but you also can't shake my hand or hug or 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 meet me in person, and I do love doing that when when I get the opportunity. So uh, everyone's been asking, it's like, can I get you to come to this thing? And it's 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 like, well, I I would I go I go anywhere. I'd love to go to Scotland. I'd love to go to uh, a convention in Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii. Then went to one of the conventions in Hawaii. And I I want to go to Hawaii. Nice. Who doesn't want to go to Hawaii? Who's that? Person? Exactly. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> um, unless you're, unless it's like Joe versus a volcano, where I go Hawaii, they're not going to push you in the lava. You don't want that. But other than that, with my ties and the <laughs> and the and the lays and the beaches, it's like I've never heard anyone complain. I'm going to Hawaii, you know. Um, I'll go where I'm invited. Mm -hmm. So just email the local convention. Or the, the convention nearest you, or, or maybe you don't live near a convention, but it's like, I'm going, and I think you've never been there. I don't know why they don't have you. Well, don't argue to me about it. I agree with you. I should go too. Email the promoters and, and take a shot and get people that you're going, people, fans, and, and other Red Dead fans or whatever, get them together and do like, we're all going to send an email like within this two day period or in the same period. Let's do an email blast to get their attention. Um, that's That's how you do it. Uh, but I would I would love to go to Aberdeen. I've never been to Scotland. Been to, been to Ireland, as many people know, last year. Uh, I've been to England. Love them. I'd love to go to Scotland. I'd love to go to Wales. I'd like to go to Wales yes. and do the, the James Joyce tour. Mm -hmm. Because my mm -hmm. friend did that uh, with her mom a few years ago, and, and I never heard the end of it. And I was like, I'd love to do that. I would love to do that. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Um, one of the things like we were talking about keeping connected through Streamly and things. One of the projects that I keep working on is these scrapbooks for the cast members um, of Red Dead. And basically I do like these, Rob Scott, his and his chicken coop. I don't know where Roger keeps his, but um, basically I got all the Red Dead fans who can't go to like conventions for whatever reason, maybe they can't afford it. It's too far to travel. I just want people to have that opportunity to share their their thoughts of the game and share any artwork or anything so by putting that in the scrapbook and giving it to to the person like giving it to like Roger or Rod or you or anybody that's giving them that opportunity to spread their voice even though they can't physically be there at least they've got something to give yeah and so yeah I started doing that and I'm currently working on one for Ben because I did one for Alex I did one for Alex Alex and I think I did a big card for Mick but yeah um, if anyone's interested hit me oh, up well, that's all awesome. well I'll tell you what uh, when I when I when I post this video um, I'll use the picture of us here as the the still frame cover and I'll tag you in that so people who are interested can can reach out uh, looks like Jess Kitty's up for that um, and 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 we could do we could uh, I could help you out that way. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That, that's 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 uh, that's that's very cool. Thank you. So, I uh, I'm still because uh, uh, I saw people in the uh, private message. They're like uh, like yeah, I feel like you. I'm really gutted that uh, Cobra Kai and Ted Lasso or this this next season is going to be their last. And I'm like I I love those shows so. Much. Much it's gonna, uh, and I I've had actor friends that have been on both shows, mm -hmm. so that's 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 very cool. But uh, I don't I don't know if you watched Ted Lasso, but Ted I've not I've not. It's definitely one of those things that I really want to watch, but I just never give myself time to watch it. I I 
Kay, I would say that if you had the opportunity watching Ted Lasso, um, you that when I when I made that quote, I was quoting I was quoting an episode. Uh, is is it's okay to feel sad, but but noted not to feel alone. That uh, Ted Ted Lasso is chicken soup for the soul. He's like, oh, right. it's a comedy. Okay. Uh, 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 an American football coach coaching you know soccer and 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 it's that's that's the build up premise but that's what the show's about the show's about the show's about what's inside i i don't want to i don't want to over explain i feel it. like you've heard the premise so i feel like yeah i think i'd really like it what what's, what's that now i feel like i've heard of it before because i've kind of heard that like how i described it so I think I think I know what it is. I've just not watched it, and I think I would really like it. It's a sh it, what what it is. It, is it? It's the premise is about it. it start, it's about a, an American football coach gets hired to coach soccer or European football in in England. What the show's really about is how people as a community deal with anxiety, fear, and, and stress and depression is what the show is really about. And oh, I definitely love that, then. it goes in avenues that you don't expect, but it's, it's one of the most, it's a, it's a show, it's just, it has so much heart to it. It has so much heart. And I feel like, uh, like some of the most quotable memes that you could like inspiration you can find from Ted Lasso. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like I, I I didn't know if everyone's like how come you would love Ted Lasso? How, and then I was a I was a late bloomer. I was I was I was jumping on the train very late, but I I I, I finally watched it all last year, and I I uh, and some people said that was kind of a good thing because you watched season one and then you went right into season two and you didn't miss a beat and you didn't feel the stress. Of of not having having to wait that wait yeah and, and I was like yeah yeah but it's uh, you I I I strongly suggest if you're looking for content that that has a very healing feeling I I I couldn't stress enough that Ted Lasso is such a it is such a great show I mean I don't I don't want to ruin anything but I would say if you if if you watch it, you'll you'll be like, I get it, I get it. It's it's just, it's just amazing. It's just so good. It is so so. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, uh, also, uh, I I I saw the trailer to Mandalorian season three. I'm very I'm very excited. We only have to wait what just a little over another month, March first. Um, I'm very uh, I, I, I'm 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 very stoked. And because it's here, and a, a lot of people had gripes about Boba Fett because they're like, "Oh, it was like I didn't like Boba Fett." And anyway, it's like, look, you could you could argue and say, "I wish all episodes were dedicated because I wanted to." See, it's about Boba Fett. I want to see Boba Fett? It's like, no, I get that. But look at the great Star Wars television that we got because of Filoni in that season of Boba Fett. That that. Yeah, you could argue it was like, like, well, it was like, it was like Mandalorian season two, five. But then again, mm -hmm. get that you had been waiting two years for Mandalorian, and you would have about that. And and I just and also don't feel don't feel that Boba and Finn. I I have no doubt this next season of Mandalorian, they're gonna do like a three episode arc with those two, and they're gonna give them those characters. So it's going to work out. I like no doubt what that Mando season. It's just going to be great Star Wars uh, content, and 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 people. I'm I'm very I'm super stoked about it. But I I geek out about things because uh, I'm a fan of things too. I like I like cool geeky things, and uh, I'm very I'm very uh, I'm very stoked. So, awesome. Yeah. So I it is it is always great hear your voice and, and see your face and smile. And that's the smile I know that I'm so glad to see it. Uh, and I, I, I want you to have an amazing, amazing time. And uh, what, what's the name of the convention in Aberdeen? Uh, um, it's 
Comic Con Scotland Northeast. Comic Con Scotland Northeast. And when the, what dates are in again? March 18th and 19th. Mm. Very cool. I uh, I got to check out. I want to see who's. I got to want to check out and see who's going to that. Uh, that sounds that sounds very. Uh, the guest very... list is very good so far. So I was I was very pleasantly surprised. <laughs> well, uh, anything else to add, Kay? Are you happy with who? I guess I, I can. Well, I've not even started it, but I've been thinking about it for a long time. I'm really going to start getting into it, but I'm writing a book. So. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's a Western, ironically. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I don't know how to describe what it is because I still don't know what, what it is. I think I know where I want the story to go. But if somebody's like, oh, what's it about? I'd be like, yeah, it's about this guy doing things. <laughs> like, I don't know how to, how to describe it. But um, yeah, I'm very passionate about the, the, the main character and about the antagonist and where the story is going to go. I just need to get it down on paper. And it's finding that that motivation and not staring at a blank screen for ages. It's just, it's trying to get past that point to get the first few words on paper. But yeah. Well, there you go. I think, I think that's awesome. I love, I love how, uh, what Red Dead has done and inspired people creatively. I think I was saying yesterday in my post is like, I adore, um, I adore all so much of the artwork that fans do. Oh, absolutely. Um, and, and and it's and it's so, a lot of it is just so professional. And I've seen ink colors. I've seen uh, ink wash. I've seen um, uh, uh, like linoleum etching. I've seen all kinds of different mediums of art, uh, charcoal pencils of of characters, the cast. That it's just completely professional work. And it's just the fact that that we were part of something that inspired so much creativity. I feel very, I feel very, uh, I feel very blessed uh, to be part of something like that that has so much substance, um, and it, it, uh, it, it's quite, it's, it's a very humbling honor. And, and and fans like you who take it so seriously, and 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 the fact that we've somehow brightened your day and and stuff like that, we you and you brighten ours as well because you know things, you know we're all human. And we all have our ups and downs. And sometimes it's okay to find inspiration in the work or the moments that other people make that kind of just maybe throw some appreciation of what you do and vice versa each other's way. And I, I, I think that that holds a lot of water uh, in the long run. And it, it certainly means a lot to me. So just know that you and, and you've done some very cool things for other people. You've done some great interviews with the cast. And you are just, you're just a very kind and, and good person all around. So I just want you to know that. And, not, and, and, uh, and I don't have a problem reminding you. Um, Thank you. So you're, 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 one of, you're one of the sweet persons. And I hope, I would love to be in Aberdeen to hang out with you. But, uh, you know, anyway. But go ahead, send that email anyway. Let's see what happens. I'd love to go to, to Mark. Because so, Ben kept talking about his next convention. He's going to the Liverpool convention. I'll be going. And going there as well. <laughs> well. He's a fan of the Beatles, but no one's bigger. As like no one in the, <laughs> the Beatles bites you tooth and nail for that. And I and then part of me is like, son of a. But maybe I know. Oh, nice to <laughs> bring me back something uh, because that would also mean the world to me. So I, I'm not angry. It's just like, oh, just bring me back a Beatle thing, please, 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 please bring me something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Beetle, please. Um, no, I'm just I, I'm excited, but uh, we'll we'll see what we'll see what happens. I've been to some very cool places, uh, and 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 we'll see we'll see what the future holds. I don't know. 2023 is going to be a very interesting year. Okay. Uh, Definitely. And I and I I'm just hey, you know what? Let's let's see let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, uh, but I'm I'm going into it as positive as I can be. Uh, and I'm having a great, the start of it's going off awesomely. I'm having, I'm, I'm feeling good about things. We got cool weather in LA, 
probably more than we've had and it's causing some problems, but we need the water because I don't want to go through another fire season. I'm sick of that. Um, so it just, it, you know, I'm just hopeful about stuff. Really. Of course, yeah. So anyway, Kay, much love to you. It's always good seeing your face. Uh, when, when work stresses you out, just close your eyes, take a deep breath, and uh, just imagine pushing some of your coworkers in a in a pool filled with piranhas. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> like wildly coyote thoughts, like no permanent damage, like it happens, and then next scene they're fine again. Cartoon. Cartoon violence, where there's there's no lasting. You know what I'm saying. Just use your imagination to to I'm quell the. I'm saying. I'm just <laughs> do. Uh, yeah, no. Um, you, you do what you do to get by, but uh, sometimes fun imagery, imagery helps. But anyway, Kay, I'm gonna let you go because we got to move on All right. and do some. Is there anything else you want to let you add here? Anything else you want to add? No, no. Just have a great night, and I hope you all are doing well and you are all enough. So. Oh, so much. Much love to you, okay? Take, take, I'll love. see you soon. Bye. 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 Okay, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the lovely Kay Simpson. And uh, when I post this video, I will post pictures of us together so you know this video. And I'll put a tab if you want to contribute to the scrapbook that Kay just mentioned. Uh, and, and when I post this, we'll post that in the comment section. And uh, I know her scrapbook is isn't copyrighted so ig please don't give me problems on that because that'll take me off it's like come on um anywho well let's go back to signing because we've got another one um of these okay. oh, these are these are popular today mm -hmm. that's who's this handsome devil let's get the order number down Sarah, Sarah. Um, ooh, this, this is a good quote. I saw your eyes, Morgan. You didn't go clever, you went soft. That's, wow, that's a deep dive cut. Uh, Sarah, are you with us? Because you're next. Sarah, uh, no last name, no social media handle. Just Sarah and the quote she wants this print. Sarah wants this print. And she, the quote she wants is, I saw your eyes, Morgan. You didn't go clever. You went soft. Sarah, if you're out there and this is your print, uh, please send an emoji of a rabbit so I know it's you. Aisha1199, is that you, Sarah? Says, I'm here. Okay. So I'm looking for, for I'm looking for Sarah. Uh, I Aisha eleven nine nine. He says I'm here. That's not you, is it? Are you the Sarah? I'm just trying to find out because if you're on here and there's no social, I just want to make sure you're here to watch me sign. That's all. I'm trying to sound like a broken record. Yes, Aisha, this, this is you. Okay. Or or maybe Sarah isn't you, but this is your print. You're getting this for Sarah. One of those. Anyway, I just want to. A number between one and three? One. What are you doing? I'm kind of cautious. It's like, what, are you setting me up for something? I don't know what this is. Uh, okay. So, Aisha1199. Cool. I just want you to know we're coming to you next. You, you are here. Okay, no, no, no. I just want I I want to make sure because I, I I do I'm doing a roll call now. I just I don't want to leave anyone out. Did I not? Oh, I forgot to do it again. Jesus. I I, I could have sworn I just put the, I did. All right, let's hold on. I'll do this now.
that's done. All right, hold on a second, uh, Sarah, aka Aisha1199. This quote you want from Bill, where, when did I say this? I saw your ass, Morgan. You didn't go clever, you went soft. When does he, like I'm having a brain fart. Honestly, when I, uh, again, I've said a lot of things in both games, so I'm trying to, well, this obviously is from Red Dead 2, but where, when does Bill say this? I'm being serious. I can't, because I, I can't remember. I can't remember. Was it the Van Horn mission? When they're getting dynamite in Van Horn? Ah, okay. Okay. Half man, what does that even mean? That's the quote what I remember from that mission. That was that that was that was a fun one too. Sarah, here we go. Boom. I saw your eyes, Morgan. You didn't go clever. You went soft. How do you like it? Do you like it? Seven, do you like it? I think she does like it. If you don't, you gotta let me know. Is it good? Scale one to ten? Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's, I made it fit just right. This is a good one for a long quote because you've got all that space to fill. So that was good. And I do like this pick. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Dave. Okay. Terry TT04. So you want me to make it out to your Instagram handle? This will this will be easy. Or do you want me to? Are you here? Let's let's do a roll call. So I'm looking for Terry TT04. Um, Terry, are you here? Okay, that's Terry Rendell. That's not, but I'm looking for Terry TT04. Uh, uh, Terry T. You know what? I'm not. I'm not doing the. I'm not a VIP, so I can go in different. I'm going to go in different order. And the only reason I'm doing this. No, you're here. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, Terry, I'm going to do you next. I just. I. I was going to move on because. Uh, I want to make sure that I want to try to do the people that are here. But Terry, you're here. I'm going to do. So you are doing. Oh, here. Look at this, man. You're getting the Valentine brawl print, man. This is been popping on. I'm not picking a horse, but if you. 
Oh, what? What uh, is there a race today? Are you playing the ponies? Oh, you should have told me you're playing the pony. That's all different. You can pick a number. Terry, we got you here. All right, I'm gonna do hold on. Uh, quarter number. Culver preset. Oh, hello. Hello, Shackcast. The Missouri Foxtrotter. Well, he's either going to punch or kiss the guy. And so, yes, he did start that fight. Okay, so this is going out to uh, uh, Terry. Do you want me to actually sign it your handle, or do you just want me to like say Terry comma because I can sign it as your Instagram handle if you want? Is that what you want? It's, it it says that here. I'm just double checking since you're online with me. Do you want me to say so? Do you want me to put the handle or just Terry? I'll sh I'll, I'll wait a second. So you, can, you can tell me. However you want me to do it, I'll do it. I just, I just thought I'd double check. I'll just start by putting my signature down. Okay, I'll go with the handle, no problem. That's what it says. I thought I'd check once again. All right. Don't come on, man. Don't do that. There we go. TTO four. All right, where can I? Okay. All right, I think I fit this without. So Terry uh, TT04, 
Let me know if you like it. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. There you go. Uh, Terry TT04, if you like what you see, send me an emoji of your favorite animal. Just want to know you're happy. You like, like it, Terry? I didn't write it on any of the faces. So you can see Bill getting punched properly. Let me try. Oh. What do you think, Terry? Do you like that? All right. He loves it. Awesome. Moving on. Okay. We got one here. Hold on. Where's my... Oh, here they are. Sepia Tone, most popular print I am. This one's going out to... Oh, this person. This is... There's no name. They just want sign. Uh, and here's what this one says. Love your voice of Bill and hope you keep on voice acting. No name. They just want the signature. Um... I'd say by Wednesday of this week, we'll see this on eBay then. All right. I, I, Terry Rendell, I did see that you were here. Uh, uh, Terry Rendell 77, did you order a print too? I will make sure. Yeah. That one was specific because I signed it to Sandal. So if you, if you have a print I'll, and you're here, I'll look for it and I'll do you next. Because we're, we're done with the VIPs. I can go in order. I just, what I want to do is go in the order so, like, you don't miss your signing. I certainly want to do that. I'm just going to do this one. This is, this is just a, a generic one. And I do need to get these and start knocking them out. Okay. That's here. All right. Do, do, do. I'm just going to learn this. Here we go. I think we got this one. There we go. Boom. Oh, Terry Rendell 77. How do I get a print? I'm a bit. Okay, so for Terry Rendell 77, if you'd like a print, we still have prints for sale. This is what you do. You go to my uh, Instagram page, the front, and we're below my picture, my circle picture in the upper left in my bio section, there is a blue underlined link that uh, says uh, it's to my link tree. You click on that, there'll be a fuzzy green screen. You continue through that, and then a gray background with like uh, elongated oval buttons will show up. There's a list, it's like my Cameo, my IMDB. The very top one is the button to this very Streamly event. You click that gray button 
and then it'll take you right to the Streamly store and it'll show you the prints that we have available still that are uh, not sold out. We, we have a few of the like the official Red Dead playing cards. We just got a few of those left. We've sold out a, 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 some other prints yesterday, but there's still stuff to purchase. The store is staying open until probably around 5, 15 p.m. Uh, tonight. And, and, and maybe if people are still buying stuff, I'll try to stay a little longer. But the store is, uh, was open last night. It was open all day yesterday. It's been open for a few weeks. It's open now. So if you want to get something, click the link tree in my link on my uh, Instagram bio. Click through the fuzzy green page. Click the top gray button for the Streamly event. It will take you right to the store. It will uh, list what we have still available. And the price, uh, pre, uh, the price, the pricing for stuff varies depending on what you want. We got, and no one is, I'll tell you what, no one has bought any of the redemption packages. I'm going to plug that again. What the redemption package is for 100, you get five different prints, uh, equal a price where it's, it's 20 a print. Uh, I can, if, and if you're here online, I can sign one to you. If you want the other four as gifts, I can sign each one completely different. It's, five varying, varying different prints. Uh, and that's what we have. So we, so if you forget, if you look, the redemption package is available. We haven't sold any yet. And we still can put them together if you'd like. A number, uh, oh, all right. I'm going to say number five. Let's just do stay with numbers. Colors are, uh, pick a number between one, two, five, five. Uh, so Terry, I do hope that helps. But yeah, for anyone watching, if you're looking to buy a print, um, that's how you do it. The store's still open. Some of this stuff is sold out. When you go to the store, it'll tell you what we still have. My link tree in my bio section, Instagram, under my picture, upper left side. You click through till you get to the, the, gray, the gray screen, top, like, uh, elongated oval button says streamly event you click that takes you to the store i keep repeating it but i keep seeing people like this just joining asking the same question uh and then my private messages are asking so just just get that information out there i don't want you guys to miss out if you want to print all right let's see what we got here okay if you're here uh, because again, I don't, I don't have an Instagram thing. Caitlin Martinez, Caitlin Martinez, are you online? Because your print is next. Caitlin Martinez. Caitlin Martinez. Oh, oh they. Oh, well. And then Nicole just posted the thing. Um, I don't know if you can click on that link if it takes you. But yeah, you or just either way, follow my instructions, but that's what you do. Um, so I'm going to I'm doing a roll call again. Next portrait I have here is a Caitlin. Good afternoon, senior suck. <laughs> that's a good one. See, should be senior suck it. Now that see, you didn't think of that, did you? Uh, one more time, I'm gonna do a roll call. Uh, if Caitlin, if you're not here, I may move on to you later because I want to try to get the people. Let's do this. Did you order a print? You've yet to see it on a previous video and you're in the audience. Because what I'll do, I'll try to get you. So I'm gonna do one more, going once, going twice. Caitlin Martinez, Caitlin, are you with us? Caitlin, let me know if you're here. I'll come back to you later, but we're done with the VIPs. So technically, I can go in different orders, and I want to get the people who are in line. So Caitlin going once, Caitlin Martinez, are you here? Going tw twice, Caitlin Martinez. Third and final time for now, Caitlin Martinez, are you with us? Okay, I'm going to move on. We'll go back to Caitlin if she's, if she's on. Let's see here. Uh, Okay, this is no name. They just want the autograph. Um, all right. 
n'importe quoi. Angelique, Angelique just wants to quote, I work smart. Uh, Angelique has ordered this print. Angelique, are you in the audience? Let's, let's see if we can get Angelique. Angelique, are you here? Uh, no, no Instagram handle, no social media handle. All I have is the name Angelique and I work smart on this print. If you're here, let me know and uh, we'll get you, we'll get you. Hold on one second, let me check something. Did I? Yeah. I was making sure those are dry. Uh, Chris. Christia LSA, are, are you Angelique? Christia and and Chris Christia LSA just wrote Angelique. Are you are you helping me roll call or are you are, is this your print? Is what I'm asking. Just make sure. I don't have it. I have a, a, a salmon uh, gamer three just asked what I think about the next gen update. I've talked to Ben about it. I don't have, I still have an Xbox one X. I still have the last generation console. Um, I'm going to hold off getting a new one. I from Ben says it looks awesome. I haven't seen it, but Ben, I take Ben's words for it. Um, Cause I've recently, I, I did, I mentioned yesterday I've restarted it. Uh, a campaign uh, just said we had something to talk about. And Wait, did she join? Maybe not, yes. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. I don't see Angelique. I'm gonna try to get some people that uh, Wow, a lot of no names. Let's see if I can find someone with this first and last name. Oh, here we go. All right, hold on. No, same print. I could do. It. Um, if you're in the chat, let me know. So I'm looking for Louis Hernandez. Louis, are you with us? Louis Hernandez. So if you're if you are Louis Hernandez, let me know. I got a first and last name. They want now. I'm in charge. Louis Hernandez. Louis Hernandez. No? Come on. Maybe Louis might have been here all day and then just finally left. He's, he's not getting any screw. I gotta go to work. Uh so Louis Hernandez. If if you are out there and you are Louis Hernandez, let me know. And, and then if not, I'll move on. Uh hold on a second. Let's check this. Someone just said something. Louis Hernandez. All right, let me, I'm going to move on. Louis, uh, let me know. I'll go back to you. I also have one of these for a Thomas, and that's all. Thomas, did you 
is there a Thomas out there that ordered one of these? They don't want anything. Uh, Christy, I just asked a question. I, here, here's the thing. When you're asking me, will I ever come to Romania? Like at a convention or just in general? That's, a, that's the a question. Tom, Thomas, are you out there? You know what? I gotta, I gotta get signed in here. So I'm just, Thomas, I'm going to sign yours because we, we're just, we're just going to, we got to move on. This is going out to Thomas. Uh, okay, so like I was saying before, um, I will go. I would love to to travel internationally to do conventions. That sounds like that would be awesome to me. But I am not in control of that. As I was telling Kay when she was signing on, I only go where I'm invited. So um, I would say that if you are if you live in Romania and they're doing a convention near you coming up this year and you want you would like me to attend uh go to that convention's website go to their contact list and email the the runner of that convention and request me uh and the my my appearance uh, manager is uh neri lemus or christopher arsaga with celeb works and i i i, I, I that's that's the company I, I i'm working with here in part with streamly for this very uh signing year uh, and, and say, um, uh, Steve J. Palmer, who plays Bill Williamson in the Red Dead series, uh, is with the appearance team CelebWorks. We would like to have him, um, could something be done? And then it's up to that convention manager, but, but we don't dictate where we go. I wish we did, but we don't. It's, it's up. It's so if you, if you're, if you're in the States, if you're in a different country, you're a convention goer, you're a, you're a fan, a geek, and you, you want us, any of us at conventions, you have to speak up. E go to that website, email that convention, uh, let them know there's a fan contingency in the area that is demanding this appearance um, because they, that's what they go by, you know. So that's what I recommend you do. If you want me to go to the UK, I would love to go. I'd love to go back to Ireland, um, but I, I only go where I'm invited. So, uh, get people to invite me, email and request me. So Thomas, I didn't hear from you, but I got your order number here. I got the, uh, the print you want. I hope it's the one you want. That's what I got. Uh, so this goes out to Thomas. Oh, gee, no, I didn't smear it. Thank God. This is it. Oh, work smart. I'm signature. There you go. Thomas, we got you back. All right, let's uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, Caitlin Martinez, are you in? I'm gonna go back to Caitlin. Did I see a Caitlin, or did my eyes? Trip? Caitlin, 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 Caitlin. All right. Caitlin, I don't see you, but I'm going to move on. I'm going to try to get you when you're here. Let's see here. Uh, wait, hold on a second. This is, oh, this is, this is one of these babies. This is for Malachi. Malachi, are you here? I see someone asking we're Dutch. Uh, ben signed on yesterday. You missed him. You can rewatch that video on my site. Um, but, uh, yeah, as I, I was saying yesterday, Christia, we, the whole cast still keeps in touch. Uh, Ben Davis jumped on, uh, Kylie tried to, 
and she didn't. But yeah, we still do. We still do stuff. Uh, we we have a text thread. We uh, Grace two six zero four. That's what you got to do. Thank you. That's what you, anyone look what Grace did. You, Grace, I, I bet you went to the website. You went to the contact list, and you emailed the promoters, uh, asking an email to request me. That's what you have to do. And I, that doesn't mean I'm going to come. I'd like to. That doesn't mean I'm going to get invited. But that's what you have to do. Now, if you have other Red Dead fans that live in your area that are going to go to Manchester, and they would also like me, they each have to send an email. Blast them. Let them know there's a group there. Let them know there's a need. That's what you have to do. I'd love to go. My goodness. I'd love to go. Um, so, okay. So one, once again, I'm sorry, I get sidetracked. I'm trying to, again, go through these and do them for everyone who's online. I don't want anyone to miss the signing. So I'm going to do a roll call. Again, I've got a print here. Uh, no last name, so no social media handle. This is going out to Malachi. No special instructions. Malachi, are you out there? If so, let me know. Uh, I'll try to move on and get back to you, but we've got a print for Malachi. We're going we're gonna to do this. So going once, Malachi, spelled M-A-L-A-C-H-I. Malachi, are you there? Old underscore one hello are you malachi hi there i just did what you did i just what you wanted there old underscore one malachi going once malachi going twice all right i'm going to move on we'll go back i'm not going to i'm trying to not exclude anyone oh here's one first and last name same print so i can i didn't put a order number on there so i can still use Okay, roll call. Is there a Robert Glendening? Robert Glendening, are you with us? Because I'll do you next. He writes, hey, Steve, how are you? Could you put on the autograph, you implore me? I'll happily do that. But I want to do it with you here. So Robert Glendening, that's spelled G-L-E-N-D-I-N-N-I-N-G. -N 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 Robert, are you with us? Robert Glendening. Robert. Robert. So Robert Glendening. I'm gonna give you ten. I'm gonna give you ten seconds. Robert or is Robert Glendening. I got your print right here. I will sign it, but I gotta know that you're with me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say Robert's not. So I'm gonna move on. So I'm gonna give you ten seconds. We'll go back to you, but I'm just saying we'll. we'll we gotta. We gotta. Uh, Angelique. Angelique. Oops, I'm putting that in the wrong. I put, I put that in the wrong space. Okay, let me try this again. So, Ange, there's an Angelique. I don't know if I call this out. Who wants this? Angelique, are you there? Angelique, is there? A, uh, she wants. I work smart. Angelique, are you in the audience? Is this you, Ange, Angelique? No. Let me know. I'm sorry. If you, if you let me know if you purchase a print and you haven't seen it in yesterday's videos, let me know and I'll just go to you because we, we're gonna. Uh, someone just said no name, just autograph. So I'm gonna move on. This will be easy. Wait, is this the right one? That's the right one. All right.
I'll try. Let me do my best. Oh, that looks good. Um, <laughs> so uh, no, there's no lot of, there's no name on this. So they just wanted it um, in white or silver. I'm stick with white, and it's signed. And they wanted me to draw a revolver. So here I drew a revolver, and uh, you signed Bill. And this I uh, got the order, no, no name, but I did it, and I'm very proud of myself. And I want to try. Is the marker got a little bleedy? Looks good. Oh my. Okay. I can't there. So whoever didn't put their name and just wanted me to draw a gun and I, I did it. I, I know. I, I I can I can draw. All right. I, I have a thing of old artwork I need to go in there and post that I've done. I, I People I need to get back into painting. Um, hold on a second, guys. I got to refresh. Did I get more sales? All right. What the hell? Let me try this again. Caitlin Martinez, are you here? Are you here? Caitlin? <laughs> no, Bob Ross. Alex Ross. Oh, you're very welcome, Nicole. No problem. I'm glad I signed it. Um, again, I just I don't want to I don't want to miss anyone. Caitlin Martinez, where are you at? I want to move on. Caitlin, if you come on, um, if you're just let me know. I'll go back to you. Okay. So, George, is there a George waiting for a signature that wants me to write? Now I'm in charge on this. George, are you here? So George, George, are you here? Oh, is it George Harrison? George, are you here? George, do, 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 do. Uh, no, this is for George. And they said, please write the quote. Now I'm in charge. No last name, no, no social media handle. Just George. If your name is George and you want, I'm in charge on this particular print and you're in the audience, will you let me know? Or you 20 seconds to respond, and then uh, I'll, I'll uh, move on. We'll do it. I just, I just want to do it when you're here. Hi, Arthur Morgan Real. Arthur Morgan Real, are you George? Oh, Kay. Uh, Kay, Kay, Kay Simpson, are you still with us? Uh, Kay, if you're if you're still, could you come back if you're still with us, Kay? Let me know if you're still uh, watching. Well, thank you for answering. If you were George, you know, I just want to be sure. Uh, Kay Simpson, Kay, are you? You're. Did I? Okay, did I call you out, Cameron? Hold on a second. Did I? Uh, uh, you're Cam Cameron. I thought I saw Cameron. Did I get you yesterday, Cameron? Maybe I got you yesterday.
Did K, K, did K go to bed? She might have gone to bed. Oh, darn it. Because the reason I asked for Kay is she did a raffle uh, for her, I think her YouTube site. And and uh, and one of them was a signed thing here. And I got a guy, there was someone under Bandit. Uh, and I wanted to see if, if, if uh, let me ask, so if you go under the moniker Bandit and you, you're signing today was through the raffle of Kay Simpson and you're in the audience, let me know because yours just came up. And I would sign it, but... Okay. Uh, real. I don't know if you were going to bed. Um, your raffle winner, Bandit. Their thing came up. I don't know. There's no uh, Instagram handle here. I don't know their real name. And, and if they're watching, I don't know where they are. So, are they? Here? Do you know if they're here? Uh, uh, boy, where, where's where's Bandit? Uh, your favorite bill quote, Bandit won the raffle I started for my followers. Or maybe you don't know. I'm going to do Bandit, yeah. I guess I could do it for a you in this video. And uh, uh, so anyway, that's that's what I was like. Do you know their handle so we can make sure they're, they're here? That's all I was asking. Hold on a second. Oops. Okay. Okay, she's gonna. I'll come back. Let me come back. I'm gonna go through some of these. Louis Hernandez. Ah, Mr. Bandit ninety four. Okay. I'll, I'll hold off and sign in is I want to try to get people that are here. Chloe, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Chloe wants one of these signed. Chloe, if you're with us, uh, let me know in the comment section. We'll, we'll get you, we'll sign this for you live. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. No last name, no uh, no Instagram handle listed, just as Chloe. And it says, can you add Outlaws for Life? I appreciate the time and work you put into bringing the Williams into life. The Red Dead games are my favorite. Thank you so much, Chloe. Um, are you here? Are you with us? Are you here? No. All right. If you're if you show up, Chloe, let me know. Is there a Cindy waiting for something to be signed? Cindy, 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 Cindy uh, says, "Hi, Steve. I hope you're doing well. Can you quote the picture with Let's show this town how it's done.' Thanks in advance. Love your work on Red Dead." Chloe, uh, Cindy. I moved on to Cindy. Cindy, are you here? Cindy. Cindy, Cindy actually wants, it's Cindy who ordered this print. Cindy, are you here? Uh, Arthur Morgan Real, how do you request an autograph? Um, there for purchase, all you do is you go to my, uh, go to my bio on my IG page under my picture. It says, uh, it says link tree, click that. A blurry greenish screen comes on, you click through that and then my picture with a gray background comes up. The top oval button uh, says uh, Streamily Live Event has yesterday and today's date. You click that, it takes you to the store and it shows you all the stuff I have remaining that you can still purchase. There's different items, different price varying. varying uh, and the store will be open till the end of the stream, which is like around maybe 5.30 today, my time. So the next, uh, basically the next, we're doing this the next four hours. So that's how you get it. Go to my link tree in my bio on my Instagram page, click through. You'll see the button that says Streamly uh, Live Signing. 
You click that, it takes you to this store. Um, okay. Okay, so I've got two things here. Am I hearing anything? You know what, Cindy? I'm gonna I'm gonna do you next. We gotta get moving on. And there we go. Thank you, Nicole. I don't know if you can click on those links though. Um, maybe you can. But uh, thank you for your help, Nicole J. She's uh, just putting it up there. Yep, I didn't. I didn't do the thing. I didn't do the thing. Look at that. The thing being putting the order number, the very long order number on the back. No problem, Cindy. We're gonna get you we're gonna get you going right now. I don't know where you are. Yeah, the links aren't clickable. That's, uh, um, but that's that's where you want to go. But uh, again, follow my instructions. I just told you. Uh, basically, go to my go to my link tree in my bio. Click it. It'll take you where you need to go. And then uh, we still got we still got stuff. We're almost out of the official Red Dead Two playing cards. So if you want one, get it now because they're they're almost gone. Okay. So, Cindy, I hope you got to see this. So, you got, let's show this town how it's done. And I believe that's, that's right before the Valentine robbery. There we go. We're gonna let that dry. Nope, 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 no, 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 there it is. And just like slid on a previous, no, I didn't smear it, thank goodness. We're gonna move on. Uh, Louis Hernandez, we're doing you next. We're just, cause we gotta move on. So we're gonna... Okay, do that thing, hold on. Hear that? That was cracking. I am having a great day so far. I really am, thank you so much. Okay, Louis Hernandez, you are next, my friend. We're gonna get you, we can get your number on here. So I'm going to, you know, what? I just realized we've been going for a while. Um, so I'm going to uh, take a, a breather. Uh, I'm going to take a 10 or so minute breather after this signature. We're going to start video two because I realize we're going over three hours and I need to, I, I need to break them up. Okay, so.
Okay, so this one, this is Louis Hernandez. Her, Louis Hernandez's. Okay, so Louis Hernandez wanted, I'm, now I'm in charge. Louis Hernandez, I hope you like it. You're going to be the last one of this particular uh, video segment. Then we're going to take a break. All right, we are going to take a break, guys, because I need, I need to get some drink, use a restroom break, and adjust my, my lumbar pillows on my chair, because... Zuzi on Lily. Hey, what's going on? Hi from Brazil. Obrigado, Leo Nochi. Um, okay, let me hold on one second. All right. Let me refresh. Okay. So guys and gals, uh, 6P NNP from Saudi Arabia. Welcome, we're, we're very glad to have you. Welcome very much. Welcome to the party. Um, so we're gonna do, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna end this video. We're not done. We're going until probably a little after five. I'll do a little extra. Uh, but I need to take, I need to get something else to drink. Um, and I, the thing's over three hours, so we really ha we have to cut it into segments. Uh, so give me about ten minutes, and I'll be back. We'll be back to more uh, more signing. We got the VIPs done, so when I sign, I'll try to go again. I will go in order uh, before I actually sign. I'll do. A, I'm doing a roll call. If you're still ordering stuff from the store, and you you can right now, if you want to get something, there is a segment and ask you uh, your social media handle. So we can add that. So I can actually look for that because that's a lot easier. Sometimes you guys have handles that don't include your real names. Uh, and I don't want you to miss the signing. So if you're ordering right now, uh, put it in the order section so we can we can move this along quicker. Uh, I don't mind doing roll call. I just I want to be convenient for you guys. So anyway, so we're going to end this video and I'm going to label it uh, the Kay Simpson interview because uh, we love Kay. Uh, and check out her interviews with the cast. They're pretty cool. And uh, I, I'll, we'll give it about 10, 12 minute intermission. I'm going to grab a drink. I'll see you back here shortly, okay? Uh, we have finished uh, part one of day two.